The following is an exclusive sports presentation of KRDR Classic Hits 105.7 FM, a member of the Blue Sky Media Radio Network. Well, a good evening to you, Ranger Nation, as we welcome you live here to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University for tonight's Great American Conference baseball matchup, game one of the three-game series between the visitors on the scoreboard, the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys and your Northwestern Rangers. Again, first pitch scheduled at 6 p.m. of game one of our series. The doubleheader will take place tomorrow at 1 and 4. Of course, you'll catch it all right here on your home for Ranger Sports. Classic Hits 105.7. Hello, buddy. I'm Dustin Goodnose. We welcome you here to the broadcast. Good to be here with you this evening as I'll be joined shortly by Steve Barrows, your Ranger baseball here, crew here tonight as Northwestern squares, across, squares off against an opponent out of the natural state, the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys who come in at 14 and 10, 7 and 5 in Great American Conference play. Your Rangers are 16 and 8, 8 and 4 in Great American Conference play. But let's take an opening timeout, come back, set the stage with the Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show. Right after this commercial break, this is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listings. Talk to Dean, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Spring is right around the corner and Holder Drug wants to remind you of our new information for the month of March. Right now, we have many bridal and baby registries, and if you would like to register with us, come see us in person. New items from Market have arrived just in time for spring break shopping. Check out these items in store or on our VIP Facebook page. As always, free delivery on your medications and prescriptions, plus free gift wrapping for your bridal shower. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alva. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we open up our Dean Gall Real Estate Auction pregame show, getting you set for, again, a single nine-inning matchup tonight as Northwestern takes on Arkansas Tech, uh, the Wonder Boys out of Russellville, Arkansas. Of course, joining me here tonight, and as always, color commentator Steve Burrell. Steve, Coach, great to be back here with you here tonight. Uh, it's been a bit since you and I have got to do a game. It has, and uh, I'm glad you're feeling a little better, and, and uh, <laughs> it's going to be a big series here tonight. To start off, yeah. No, it really is. This is a big matchup for the Rangers coming in, uh, especially when you look at the, uh, the the Great American Conference standings. Southern Arkansas sitting in first at ten and two. They've lost their last two though, but they are sixteen and six overall. In third is Arca or in second is Arkansas Monticello at nine and three, twelve and nine overall. Northwestern sitting in third at eight and four, sixteen and eight overall. Uh, right behind them is Southwestern, along with Arkansas Tech. And Harding and Henderson State, all four of those teams, seven and five. Southwestern, fifteen and eight, very much improved Bulldog team uh, from the years past. Harding, thirteen and nine. Arkansas Tech, of course, the opponent today, fourteen and ten. Henderson State is twelve and twelve. OBU and Wachita Baptist, both six and six. OBU's fourteen and nine. Wachita eleven and ten. SNU and East Central, both two and ten. Six and seventeen is SNU. Five and twenty-one is East Central. And rounding out the bottom is East uh, Southeastern. Uh, Savage Storm have won two straight. They got their first conference win over the weekend uh, on a walk-off Grand Slam knocking off Oklahoma Baptist uh, as they're 1-11, 8-14 in conference play. So just looking at the conference standings this uh, and how important this series really is to Northwestern, 
Uh, you know you want to get one. You really want to get the series, though, to kind of keep uh, kind of keep some distance between you and the Wonder Boys. Yeah, we're in a good spot right now. And uh, did you say that was Southeastern that got their first conference win? Yeah, Southeastern. Anyway, I, yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's maybe one or two teams that uh, seem to be not as competitive as the rest of them, but uh, we're certainly right in there, and, and it'd be great to get the series here. I certainly would, and again, uh, we'll talk more about the series uh, between these two teams as, again, coming in. Uh, the Wonder Boys, the team uh, looking at the opponent today, Arkansas Tech, a lot of familiar faces from a team a year ago that tied for second in the GAC and it earned an at-large bid in the NCAA Central Region Tournament. In fact, they returned seven players from their everyday lineup and ten uh, guys out of the bullpen and starters that appeared a year ago in at least 12 games or more of those ten pitchers with significant experience. Five started at least four games for the Wonder Boys a year ago, and one of those guys we're going to see here today in game one of this three-game series is going to be a uh, last year's first team all great american conference performer in john gray he is actually a transfer uh from our uh, actually a division one transfer he spent last year at arkansas tech but he came from the university of new orleans two years ago to be a part of this program gray again made 15 starts with a 3.6 earned run average 81 strikeouts across 90 and two-thirds innings on the offensive side tech returns uh, all but two hitters from their everyday lineup they had four All-Great American Conference guys again last season, season which we'll talk more about. A couple of first teamers, a, uh, a couple of first teamers, a second teamer, and a couple of guys on the honorable mention team as well. And again, their uh, head coach is going to be Dave Dawson, who's the all-time winningest head coach uh, in Arkansas Tech uh, baseball history. He enters his 15th year in the dugout for the Wonder Boys with over 400 victories in his entire career. Again, this is his 19th year coaching altogether. But again, so very impressive uh, an opponent today here and again this weekend for the Rangers as they take on the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. We'll take another time out, come back, have more of our Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show next. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding areas since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll hope you'll consider Beatles Nursing Home located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Here at Bank Central, we like to shoot for three, and that includes our services to you. From fee-free checking accounts to competitive CD rates and all the way to consumer lending, stop by any of our locations in Alva, Enid, Woodward, and Cherokee, or call 580-327-1122 to talk with one of our qualified professionals. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we continue our Dean Goal Real Estate and Auction pregame show, getting you set for Northwestern and Arkansas Tech. Let's go through the starting lineups for your teams this afternoon. Again, those brought to you by the Alva Moose Lodge for the Rangers. It'll look like this. Leading off and playing first will be Dylan Bradford. Batting second, the left fielder, number 31, Carson Wright. Batting third, the DH, number 55, Chad Green. Batting cleanup, the right fielder, number six, Paul Sachin. Batting fifth. And playing second, number 10, Hagen Barcelo. Batting sixth, third baseman, number 28, Colby Grace. Batting seventh, the center fielder, number 27, Trevor Sayer. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 20, Trevor Stiles. And batting ninth, the shortstop, number nine, will be Jacob Wiltshire. Getting the start today for the Rangers. Again, will be the six foot five right handed senior out of Mino, Oklahoma. A transfer from Arkansas Little Rock in his second year with the program. It'll be Garrett DeHaas. On the other side, for the Wonder Boars. Wonder Boys starting lineup will look like this. Again, leading off and playing second will be number 39, Marcos Carbronos. Carbronos, a batting second, the DH, number 29, Nick Jones. Batting third, the right fielder, number seven, Keaton Rinaldo. 
Batting uh, cleanup will be the first baseman, number 11, Logan Schwanke. Batting fifth will be the catcher, number 24, Christian Olea. Batting six will be the third baseman, number 10, Braden Bard. Batting seventh, the left fielder, number one, Shane Poe. Batting eighth, the shortstop, number 14, Cole Dawson. And batting ninth, the center fielder, number eight, Grant Jones. Again, getting the start today for the Wonder Boys will be the 5'10 junior out of Youngsville, Louisiana. Again, the transfer out of University of New Orleans, second year with the Wonder Boys program, number 31, John Gray. Again, that's a look at your starting lineups brought to you by the Alva Moose Lodge. Again, we told you about the Wonder Boys. Again, uh, they're led by 19th year career coach Dave Dawson. Again, 15th year at Arkansas Tech, 540 and 395 is his career record. He's 425 and 301 at Arkansas Tech. He's 21 and 6 against Northwestern, 8 and 4 here in Alva. Wonder Boys have won six of the last ten matchups. They have won four straight against the Rangers. All time, Arkansas Tech is 23 and seven against Northwestern. So Division two ranks for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. They're 14th in hit by pitch this season. Uh, they've been hit by a pitch 47 times. And like the Rangers, uh, Northwestern again one of the top teams in Division two. They're 23rd in uh, sacrifice bunts this season at 15. Well, Arkansas Tech is right there as well. They're 17th in Division II in sack bunts with 16. So, Coach, that, that's probably going to end up coming into play, and not only today but tomorrow, uh, tomorrow as well. Oh, yeah, when you've got that kind of ranking, you know, that many times the frequency, uh, that's kind of the style of, uh, that your club plays. And so when it calls for it, you, know, you get the runners over, you move them, and then get them home. And Arkansas Tech is also third in Division II in shutouts. They've shut out their opponents four times this season. And we mentioned John Gray's going to get the start. This will be his eighth start. He comes into Division II uh, second in starts with seven coming into tonight's matchup. Numbers for the Rangers. Some of those, uh, again, ranked in Division II. Rangers, of course, continue to be one of the better fielding uh, teams in Division II. They're 15th in fielding percentage at 9.76. They're 18th in home runs with 30 on the year. Told you they're 23rd also in sacrifice bunts. Rangers also now will feature into the lineup today the two-time Great American Conference Player of the Week uh, and a new face to this program this year, Carson Wright. And this guy's been on an absolute tear for this team. He has, and I was trying to think uh, early in the season. Uh, you know, sometimes, first of all, it's, it's hard to sustain a high level throughout the entire season. But if I, if I remember right, Carson was a little flat starting out. Maybe I'm misremembering or confusing him with another player, but, yeah, he certainly uh, has upped his game and is keeping it up. Yeah, Carson, again, two-time player of the week, uh, again, in the Great American Conference. One, one uh, number for Carson, he's also done a good job of, uh, you know, I know he leads the team as far as average goes, but he's also a very patient hitter. He's fourth in Division Two with 26 walks on the season. That just tells you what kind of hitter he is. Yeah, with a, with a very good eye, yep. But that's uh, kind of some Division II numbers and ranks for both of these two teams. We're going to take another timeout. When we come back, we'll have the national anthem and then the starting pitch, or the opening pitch, brought to you by Ridgeview Vet Hospital. Coming up right after this commercial break, this is Northwestern Baseball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. You put in the work, and every day you go out and prove it again. You're an expert in your field. That's what farmers do every day. They go out and get the job done. If that's you, then Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma wants to thank you. For a livestock or crop loan, equipment loan, ag real estate, or operating loan, we will tailor a loan to your needs. Talk to one of our ag specialists by phone or stop by a branch today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma and Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, online at farmcreditloans.com. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief these are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential and compassionate place to land. Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org.
Yeah, there you have it, the final notes of our Star Spangled Banners. We get ready for opening pitch between Northwestern and Arkansas Tech here tonight. Again, the lights have come on here at Meyer Stadium. I think this is uh, the first game that we've got to do under the lights, Coach, this year. It is. Yeah. <laughs> when I was looking back at the schedule, we haven't done a game since February 20th. Yeah, I, I'd like to reintroduce myself. I'm Steve Barrows. <laughs> yeah, Dustin Goodnow, by the way. <laughs> yeah, good, good to see you. Good to meet you. And I am going to, folks, be a little patient with me tonight. My voice is not what it normally is. I'm probably about 75% with the voice. I feel a lot better. I'm going to try and, and tone it down as far as the excitement goes to try and sustain my voice a little bit for the weekend. So. <laughs> oh, you're coming off the basketball season, too. There's that element of fatigue that, uh, that got you. Yeah, I missed uh, the series last weekend where the Rangers swept Southern Azri, which was uh, a nice, nice three-game win. Uh, series for the Rangers, uh, knocking off Snoo here at home. All three was in basketball, covering the teams in Shawnee at the Great American Conference Tournament. Of course, the NCAA Regional Tournament going on uh, on the women's side in Shawnee. We're going to keep you updated there because we've got three Great American Conference teams. Two of, in fact, squaring off uh, in the opening round with Henderson State and Southern Azri and Harding will take on Pittsburgh State later on tonight. It looks like leading things off will be Marcus Cabronas, again, getting the start today for the Rangers, will be Garrett DeHaas. The numbers on DeHaas, a 4.94 earner on average. He's 1-1. One one. It's his seventh start of the year. 27 to third, 30 hits, 18 runs, 15 of those earned, 16 walks to go along with 20 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 268 against DeHaas this season. See, I brought an apple. I saw that. It's my lunch and potentially my supper. I was going to say, I may be digging into those Cheez-Its or corn chips down there for dinner tonight. <laughs> so here we go, Rangers in the opening pitch from DeHaas, brought to you by Ridgeview Vet Hospitals across the plate for a called strike, and we are underway. And Mr. Metcalf, Dr. Metcalf. There's a fly ball lifted into shallow right. Coming up will be Paul Sachin. He'll camp underneath it, make the grab for their first down of the inning. The other Wonder Boys come in at 14 and 10, 7 and 5 in conference play. They're 10 and 1 at home, just 2 and 8. So the Wonder Boys have really struggled on the road at just 2 and 8 so far this year. As down to the plate will be the DH number 29, Nick, J Nick Jones, who takes a called strike. Jones, a 269 hitter. It's his 22nd start of the year. 21 hits and 78 at bats as he looks at ball one. Of those 21 hits, four doubles. Does have one home run to go along with 15 RBIs. 1-1 one, one pitch. Inside and off the plate is ball two to Nick Jones. Left-handed hitter, looks like he has some power. That pitch swung on and missed. His count evens up now two and two to Nick Jones. Yeah, he saw fast balls until that one right there, breaking ball. Swung over the top of it, out ahead. That pitch just misses. Count goes full now, three and two. The Haas this season against left-handed hitters, they're nine and Nine of 32, hitting 281 against him this year. 3-2 pitch. Did he go around? He did not. It'll be ball four. So a one-out walk drawn by Nick Jones. Yeah, two of those balls were, were awfully close. And Jones now has walked for the 14th time this season. That's second best on the team. Now to the plate, Keaton Ranallo. Ranallo, a 267 hitter, his 25th start in all 25 games this year. Looks at a breaking ball for a called strike. Ranallo with 23 hits and 86 at bats, has scored 20 runs. Four doubles, four home runs, 17 RBIs, which is tied for his second best on the team. The 0 1 from De Haas. Fouled out of play to the right side. Ranallo now behind in the count 0 2. 
That's a good pitch. Down low, knees, black on the outside part of the plate. With the runners on against the Haas, they're 16 of 59, hitting 271 this season. If that pitch misses for ball one. There's a good away pitch. See if we can get him to chase. One two pitch up coming. Said there's the throw back over. Getting back is Jones. Can't I'll stay at one and two to Nick Ronaldo or Keaton Ronaldo. One two from De Haas. Swung on her miss for strike three and first strike out of the day for Garrett De Haas. <laughs> that was nasty. The bottom fell out of that thing. You know, with the exodus of spring break, uh, there's a few dedicated uh, Northwestern students here, but. Yeah, for some of them, spring break has started. Oh, yeah. And it started maybe yesterday if you yeah. don't have class on Fridays. Right. <laughs> or if you had class today, you were on the road as soon as it let out. Now to the plate, first baseman number 11, Logan Schwenke. Who looks at a cold strike count as 0-1. Schwenke tops on the team at average, hitting 349. In fact, he's the only wonder boy uh, hitting about over 300 this season. It's his 22nd start of the year. Here's the 0-1 pitch. In there for a cold strike again. Count as 0-2. 22 hits and 63 at-bats. Scored 19 runs. Six doubles, one triple, six home runs to lead the team, and also 21 RBIs leads the team as well. O2 2 pitch up coming from De Haas. He delivers. Ground ball hit down the first base side, hit foul. We'll do it again at 0-2. Pretty much a perfect pitch right there. Off the plate. He had to kind of swing at it and defend it. Few, few feet to the left, it would have been a grand out to, to three. Teams this year, 10 of 35, hitting 286 with two outs against Garrett De Haas. 0-2 pitch, line drive at a left center, down for a base hit. And the inning will continue after the two-out single from Logan Schwenke. Caught too much of the plate on that one. So Schwenke has his 23rd hit of the season. And runners now in scoring position for the Wonder Boys. As Christian Olea, the catcher, will hit. Olea hits 286, his 24th start of the year. 24 hits and 84 bats, has also scored 18 runs. Dehaas delivers. Fly ball lifted into right, and this should do it for the inning as Sachin will retreat back, camp underneath and make the grab. And that'll do it for the Wonder Boys in the first. No runs on one hit, no errors with two left on. We head to the bottom of the first inning. Rangers do up when we come back. No score on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's okimready.org, or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services, and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at ENJ Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and E&J Financial are not affiliated. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we move to the bottom of the first inning. Rangers do up 
After that commercial break, leading things off will be the first baseman, Dylan Bradford, followed by Carson Wright and Chad Green for Northwestern. Getting the start again for Arkansas Tech will be John Gray. Gray with a 5.16 earn run average. He's 3-2 and two as he makes his eighth start of the year. 29 and two-thirds, 27 hits, 18 runs, 17 of those earned. 20 walks to go along with 32 strikeouts. Teams are hitting just 239 against John Gray this year. It looks like Gray's warm-up pitches are done. And leading things off again for the Rangers will be Dylan Bradford. And you want to know why he's the leadoff hitter? 17 of 35, hitting 486 as a leadoff hitter for the Rangers. Hard to do better than that. Bradford hitting 341 this season. It's his 24th start. 29 hits and 85 at bats. Has also scored 22 runs. Leads the team with seven doubles. As the opening pitch by Gray. This is on outside and off the plate for ball one. Like most of our team, he's uh, also got a terrific glove. <clears throat> He certainly does. 1-0 pitch missed again outside. Count moves to 2-0 now to Dylan Bradford. Bradford has one triple. No home runs. Does have 10 RBIs. He's also walked 11 times this season. 2-0 pitch. Missing upstairs. 3-0 now. Of course, the Wonder Boys basketball team, they made the long trip up to Mankato this weekend. They'll take on Minnesota State Mankato in the NCAA Regionals, the eighth seed after winning the Great American Conference Tournament. Four straight pitchers, Bradford walks. Twelfth walk of the year. That's it. Make the pitcher earn. Start off right. You think they drove or do you think they flew? You know, it's funny. I asked that question to some of the assistant coaches, and they said they drove. I said, I was a little surprised. I figured they might take a flight, but they, uh, I think they chose to drove is what they said. Yeah. Now to the plate, Carson Wright. That's a towering fly ball down the right field line. Is it going to land in foul territory? It will. As Ronaldo could not get to it, it'll be a long strike. Yeah, I don't know if right fielder was shaded, but that was certainly up in the air quite a ways, quite a while. But again, that's there's a little, gosh, what is that, 80 feet, 90 feet between the, the fence and the foul line? There's a lot of foul territory out there on the right side. Right, leading the team, again, an average hitting 395 this season for the Rangers. Wright also comes in with an eight-game hitting streak, trying to keep that alive as the pitch missed there. Can't lose to one and one. Wright is homered in two straight games. He's also got at least one RBI or more in five of his last six games. 1-1 one, one pitch, misses upstairs for ball two. Yeah, you know, like I kind of beat a dead horse for, you know, pretty much each practice, but this guy's job right here, first and foremost, is get that runner from first into scoring position. 2-1 pitch, upstairs for ball three. And Wright is already, again, we told you, walked 25 times or 26 times. It's in fourth best in all division two, and he may draw one here. Three one pitch. That's a fly ball wow. lifted into center, retreating back is Jones all the way towards the track, makes the grab. Here's the throw back in as Bradford retreats to first, and there's one down. Well, you know, he hit that too good. Yeah. I mean, that was that was a bullet. It just if it had any air under it, that was gonna go out of here. Yeah, and if you're watching us uh, on the Northwestern YouTube stream as well. No wind whatsoever looking out there dead center field. Yeah. It was plenty windy today when I was trying to paint planks. Chad Green will now hit as he'll take a cold strike. Green has come, in, come on as late, struggled to start the year, but he's hitting 350 now. It's his 12th start of the year. 14 hits and 40 at bats to score nine runs. Three doubles, one home run, and seven RBIs. Throw back over. Bradford just gets back ahead of the tag. Uh, looked like there might have been a little bit of a lean to second there. wonder if we may try to catch the uh, test the catcher's arm here early. Green hitting 355, 11 of 31 against right-handed pitching as he lifts a fly ball into 
center making the grab again will be Jones for out number two. Well, so Greg got himself in a little bit of trouble. Looks like he's pitched himself out of it though. Had the runner on first with a 3-1 count to right and then gets back-to-back -back fly balls. Paul Sachin, Sachin to hit now. Sachin hitting 291, 23rd start of the year. 23 hits and 79 at bat. Sachin comes in with a seven-game hitting streak. As there's a light shot at short. Filling out off the hop as Dawson flips to Carbronis, and that'll do it for the Rangers on the put out to end the threat here in the first. No runs for the Rangers. No hits, no errors with one left on. We move to the top of the second inning. No score on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They've been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at tacomacoop.com and get a better service at a better place. KNS Tire and Alva has been locally owned and operated since 2004. While every business claims to be the best, KNS Tire is the best. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves by coming back to us each and every time. Our amazing services go beyond a regular tune-up or tire rotation. Our team is well-trained and able to take care of all your car care needs, including preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, brakes, and more. Visit knstire.com for more information or come see us at 2590 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit okiamready.org. That's okiamready.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. Third baseman, number 10, Brendan Barb, will lead things off to start play here in the top of the second. As he faces a 1-1 count from Garrett DeHaas. Bard this season, second on the team, hitting 291, 25th start of the year, 23 hits and 79 at-bats as that pitch misses low and outside for ball two. Bard has three doubles, one triple, two home runs to go along with 13 RBIs as the 2-1 misses low and off the plate. Count goes to three and one. Challenge the hitter here. Three one pitch. Fouled back to the net. Count goes full now. Three and two. Second full count we've had so far. Well, the numbers on Bard. Slugging percentage of 340. Walked six times, struck out seven with an on-base percentage of 352 as he fouls that one back over the press box. We'll do it again at three and two. On deck is the left fielder, Shane Poe. Three-two pitch, once again fouled off. Out of play to the right side. Southern Nazarene leading Henderson State. The Women's Central Regional, again, that being played in Bethany, 43-35. That's the one seed versus the eight seed. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. 3-2 pitch once again fouled back to the net. And Bard staying alive here. I can hear the uh, the Haas <coughs> tennis serve grunt. Yeah. Excuse me. Choked up. 3-2 pitch, misses upstairs for ball four. Second walk issued by Garrett DeHaas. So now to the plate, the left fielder, number one, Shane Poe, a 289 hitter. 24th start of the year. 22 hits and 76 at bats so this season for Arkansas Tech. Looking for them to move this runner here early. Yep, showing bunt. I'll back off, and he'll take ball one as that misses upstairs. Bard, a little bit of a threat to run, has two stolen bases and two attempts so far this season. Oh, 
Here's the 1-0. -oh. Poe looks at ball two, again up high and out of the zone. Just gotta find that meat, that mitt. Throw back over, getting back his Bard. Yen count stays at 2-0. and oh. Nobody out here in the top half of the second inning. No score between Northwestern and Arkansas Tech. Throwing back over again. Bard gets back safely. Comfortably both times. Yep. Yeah, he did. Uh, he knows we're paying attention. We need to, need to throw a strike here. Here's the 2-0. Fly ball lifted into center. Retreating back will be Sayre. And he'll make the grab for out number one. Nice little subtle adjustment he made out there. Sayre shuffles to his left and turns back to his right as the ball drifts just a little bit on him. So with one out here in the second, it'll be the shortstop number 14, Cole Dawson to hit. Dawson hitting just 176 in his 16th start of the year. It's his 23rd appearance. Nine hits and 51 at bats as they throw over again to first. Bard gets back. And taking signs from their coach each pitch. And the delivery. Good shot. Went around for strike one for Dawson. Just didn't commit to the swing there. No, he was looking for a fastball, and that thing broke on him. He's like, whoops, too late. <laughs> Couldn't hold the bat. Been there. No one pitch upcoming. Dejas delivers. Yeah. Cross the plate for a cold strike. Dawson quickly behind in the count, 0-2 now. Back into the box is Cole Dawson facing an 0-2 count. We are not being crop dusted. No. It's amazing how sunny it was when I got here and all of a sudden <laughs> pretty overcast now. You brought the gloom. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Throw back over, Bard gets back again. I don't know. I'm, uh, I put my money on Styles here. Go ahead and try to take second. O2 pitch. Just missed off the plate. Count moves to one and two now. And Wonder Boy's a team that do like to run. They've stolen 40 bases and 46 attempts so far this season. So they've been pretty successful. That's quite a few. Bar dancing over there at first. Here's the one-two pitch. Fly ball down the right field line. Station will give chase into foul territory and make the grab. Bard will tag up and well, act like he was going to go to second. He'll retreat back to first, but there's two down. Yeah, he, the way the throw came in, he could have had second there, but important thing is we got the out there, Station. Bottom of the order we go. The center fielder, number eight, Grant Jones. Jones, a 233 hitter, 16th start, his 22nd appearance of the year. 14 hits and 60 at bats. There's a chopper to second, fielded by Barcelo off the hop, throws to first in time for the 4 3 put out of Jones, and that'll do it. Well done. For the Wonder Boys in the second. No runs, no hits, no errors with one left on. We move to the bottom of the second inning. Score tied at zero on the Community Bank School Board. Rangers do up when we come back. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alva with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. 
Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listing. Talk to Dean, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Albert where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services, including full service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across Northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alpha, Eden, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580-748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Gold Bug Athletics. First pitch to Barcelos hit high into deep center and caught right at the warning track by Jones for out number one of the inning. Man, I wish we had a range finder up here. Of course, it wouldn't be accurate from here, but I just, you know, we don't have the distances. We used to have, you know, distances used to be standard as part of ballparks. And so, yeah, when he first hit that, I thought, oh, that's going but died at the track, caught it at the track. Now to the plate, third baseman, number 28, Colby Grace. Grace hitting 295 in his 23rd start of the year. First pitch from Gray, misses low and away for ball one. Grace, 23 hits and 78 at-bats, scored 19 runs, one double, seven home runs, which is tied for a team lead and 20 RBIs. Here's the 1-0. And catches the outside corner for a called strike. Count is one and one. Who's a crop duster in yeah. that uh, one, yeah. one <laughs> movie, Armageddon, whatever? He's, yeah. It's like he's up there flying around. One one misses outside. Count moves to two and one. It's funny because the nice the, the field mic, you can pick up all the sounds of everything that just happens to cross by here in Alva. Yeah. Two one pitch. Swung on and missed. Grace chased that one. Count evens up two and two now. Two two pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three as he chased that again. And just like that, there's two down. Yeah, not the at bat he wanted. You know, something I noticed in uh, just a little. Note here, officials, umpires don't get a lot of love or attention, but uh, all the crews that are working our games, NCAA, I mean, their, their shoes are shine, they are sharp, they are polished and professional looking, and I sure appreciate that, and I hope most others do. Trevor Sayre will step in. Again, didn't commit to that swing, count as 0-1. Sayre has really struggled as of late, has just three hits. Uh, again, you go back since the... February 24th against Henderson State, the final game of that series. He's just three for 27 since that game. Here's the 0-1 to Sayre. Low it outside for ball one. Count evens up 1-1. Yeah, maybe it's a good weekend uh, if you've kind of been in the dumps or something. Good uh, weekend to get on track. Trevor is hitting 235 in his 23rd start of the year. 19 hits and 81 at bats. 1-1 pitch. Upstairs for ball two. Sayers also scored 15 runs, has two doubles, four home runs, and 12 RBIs this season. A little shot back up the middle is always a good answer. 2-1, breaking ball just missed for ball three. Sayers has walked nine times this season with an on-base percentage of 308. And we've done damage this year with two outs. Certainly have. 3-1 pitch is right over the middle of the plate. Count goes full 3-2. and two. He had a little play on his release to the pitcher. Sarah 6 for 34 with two outs, hitting 176 to make it 6 of 35 as he strikes out swinging there. And the Rangers go in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. We move to the top of the third. No score on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. 
The Alva Moose Lodge is a proud supporter of all Northwestern and Alva public school activities and strives to be the heart of the community through fundraisers and community-based events that make a difference in the lives of individuals, kids, and families throughout Northwest Oklahoma. On a national basis, the Moose Fraternity provides at-risk children with a second chance at life and its senior members a comforting retirement at its five-star senior facility in Florida. If you would like to see how you can help make a difference in the lives of those in need, stop by the Alva Moose Lodge Monday through Saturday from 4 p.m to 10 30 p.m. at 302 7th street to learn more keeping your car clean is an inexpensive way to protect its value surely shine car wash located west of love offers a six-bay self-serve car wash including three truck bays your wash options include soap tire cleaner foamy brush wax spot free rinse and air chamois and you can pay with credit debit card or quarters don't just clean the outside clean the inside with its self-serve car vacuum you can also clean your pet with their self-serve dog walk. Company vehicle? Be sure to ask about our fleet account. So the next time your vehicle needs rinse or detail, come by Shirley Shine Car Wash, located right here in Alva. At Ignite Physical Therapy, we assist in the therapy of many different aspects, such as advanced problem solving, joint mobilization, treatment of adverse neural tension, evaluation and treatment of muscle imbalance, tissue-specific exercise, and patient education. Dr. Jared Hayda and staff want to get you back to the life that you had before your injury. They have helped so many through rehabilitation and they can do the same for you. Stop by and see the staff at Ignite Physical Therapy on 520 Glen Street or make an appointment by calling 580-327-3331. Cabronas to lead it off to begin play here in the top of the third as the first pitch is ball one. It'll be Cabronas, Nick Jones, and Pete Benalo do up for the Wonder Boys second time through. As the 1-0 misses upstairs, count moves to 2-0 now. Ronis, not a guy that you want to put on the base pass either. Now the umpire checking the bat looks like of Cabronis. Well, that tape is off, awfully high up. Everything seems to be all right. He'll step back into the box. Two O is in there for a called strike. Count moves to two and one. Same pitch. Two one from De Haas inside for ball three. Get on deck is Nick Jones. Three one pitch and it's ball four. Third walk issued by Garrett De Haas. And Cabronis again, uh, very much of a threat to run. Second on the team with six stolen bases and seven attempts this year. Left-handed batter screening the catcher. Say so he goes either the second or third pitch. He's got that little glove on his left hand. He's ready, isn't he? <laughs> First pitch misses way up and away for ball one. Well, he needs to find the mid here. Shoot the mitt, Dahas. He's kind of getting outside high. Jones, of course, walked his last time up. Here's the 1-0. Tried the outside corner and missed. Count moves to 2-0 now. I don't know. You could send him on a 3-0 or a 2-0, but pitcher hadn't thrown a strike yet either, so. 2-0 was in there for a called strike to Nick Jones. Might see a hit and run here. Now throw back over. Gibronis gets back. Doesn't have a very big lead. Here's the 2 1. He'll take off. That's a fly ball lifted into left. It will be caught on the run by Wright, throwing back to first and not able to get him in time. Good backup play, though, by Styles at first base. Excellent. Otherwise, he'd have been at second base. Yeah. Styles that time backing up Bradford and made a terrific play as it had gotten by Bradford, but Styles was right there. So was baseball fundamentals. 
to save the runner from, uh, from being in scoring position. So Keaton Ronaldo will head to the plate. 0 for 1 today. Struck out back of the first. Cabronis gets back on the throw over. He's barely got more than a one body length lead over there. It's kind of strange. Toss checks the runner. Now comes home. Ronaldo lays off for ball one. What was that, fruit by the foot down there? Man, yeah. that's a lot of sugar. I'd add that to my apple for supper. <laughs> Here's the throw back over. Cabronis gets back safely. We need to throw a strike here, not go to two balls, no strikes. <clears throat> Try to get on top of these hitters. Here's the 1 0. Line drive into center. Traver Sear comes up. Doesn't have to move much. He'll make the grab for out number two of the inning. Didn't even look like he really bent his knees. Sear, no. he's just, you know, okay, I'll catch this one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's, that's too easy, guys. Yeah, I know. Some a little harder, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Could have caught that one behind my back. <laughs> yeah. Logan Schwenke out of the plate, but two down here in the third. You got an airplane convention going on? Is this the Osho fly-in? What's I'm, going on? I have no idea. That is like the what, third or fourth time is the first pitch to Swanky. He's in there for a strike. It better not be Brinkley up there circling. Yeah. Does he have a license, a pilot's license? I know there's plenty of people that do, but. Yeah. <laughs> he's more of a co-pilot. But he's not allowed to touch anything. There's <laughs> <laughs> the throw over. Cabronis gets back. I wonder if Coach Corley's up there. Instead of watching from home, he's flying overhead. A one count to Schwenke. He's got the lone hit of the game. High chopper down the third base side is hit foul. Schwenke quickly behind the count, 0 and 2 now. That's what I like. Got two down, two strikes on the hitter. can try to hit a bad pitch or an off-the-plate pitch. Doss with the 0-2. Ground ball hit to short. Wiltshire will field. Make the long throw to first in time for the 6-3 put out of Schwenke. Nice. And that'll do it for the Wonder Boys in the third. No runs, no hits, no errors with one left on. We move to the bottom of the third inning. No score still on the Community Bank scoreboard. Rangers do up when we come back. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. We know how much love your pet gives you. We're Ridgeview Veterinary Hospital. We're always here for you and your pet. Ridgeview Vet Hospital provides the most comprehensive care from regular checkups to emergency. Ridgeview Vet Hospital proudly provides veterinary services to all animals, large or small. Visit us today to let Dr. Loman and his staff take care of your extended family located right here in Alba or call us to schedule your appointment at 580-327-0201. Ridgeview Vet Hospital is a proud supporter of Alba and Northwestern activities. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Alva Health and Wellness is Alva's newest healthcare option, offering a broad array of services geared to address today's most common illnesses and injuries. Alva Health and Wellness offers services for you and your child, including sickness, wellness, chronic care management, vaccinations, weight loss, and so much more. Find more information online by visiting alvahealthandwellness.com or come by and make an appointment with Jeremy Logston in person at 515 College Avenue right here in Alva. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we move to the bottom of the third inning. Just to go to alongside Steve Barrows, your Ranger baseball crew here this evening. No score between Northwestern and Arkansas Tech as the catcher number 20, Trevor Stiles, will lead things off for the Rangers. As Gray delivers a called strike to Stiles, and we're underway here in the bottom of the third. 
Styles this season, hitting 375. His ninth start of the year. Nine hits and 24 bats. Scored eight runs. One double, one home run, and seven RBIs as he whiffs at that one. Count is 0 and 2. So, took a little off that pitch. The Trevor Styles followed by Jacob Wiltshire and back to the top of the order with Dylan Bradford. Owen bounces in. Count moves to one and two now. Styles this season, when he has led off, is three for six, hitting 500 this year. And that wind is coming in from the northeast now. One-two misses. Count evens up two and two now. Yeah, shoot one through the infield here. Here's the two-two from Gray. Low and off the plate. Count goes to three and two now. Styles trying to draw maybe the leadoff walk here, get the Rangers on to start here in the bottom of the third. 3-2 from Gray. Foul back out of play over the press box. <laughs> it's an air show. Nobody told us. No, yeah. And it's funny because of how cloudy it is, you, you can't see them. No, I can't even see the planes. Three-two pitch to Styles. But fouled right off the mask of the catcher. We'll do it again at three and two. Having a good at bat. Gets that a little bit lower in the zone, and Styles is going to get his base knock. Three two from Gray. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that is three straight strikeouts issued by Gray. So now to the plate, the shortstop, number nine, Jacob Wiltshire. We talked about the Rangers and all the sacrifice bunts they've had. 15 on the season, eight of those belonging to Jacob Wiltshire. He's actually first in all of Division II with sack bunts this year. It's 224. First pitch to Wiltshire, misses for ball one. 15 hits and 67 in bats as he's got his 24th start of the year. Seven runs, three doubles, and three RBIs for Wiltshire this season. Here's the 1-0. Up in the zone, but called a strike. County mids up 1-1. He is our Ozzie Smith. Yeah. Shortstop extraordinaire. Here's the 1-1. Fouled over the press box. Count will move to one and two now to Jacob Wiltshire. And guard the plate. Just hit it where it's pitched. The one two fly ball into right center. Should be an easy play for Ronaldo as he'll camp underneath and make the grab for out number two of the inning. And I should have added to hit it on the ground. <laughs> Back to the top of the order we go with Dylan Bradford. Now batting for the Rangers, first baseman Dylan. Bradford with two outs this season, hitting well. 433, he's 13 of 30 on the season. He walked in his last at bat. In fact, he's the only Ranger that's reached base today. As Bradford takes a cold strike, count is 0-1. Here's the 0-1 from Gray, up and in, off the plate, count evens up one and one. That looks like Southern Nazarene is moving on to the NCAA Regional. They lead Henderson State by 17 with four minutes to play in Bethany. One one pitch, breaking ball in there for a called strike, count moves to one and two. Well, we. In some fashion, should congratulate them, shouldn't we? I mean, they're an Oklahoma school. They are. They're a GAC school. It's nice to see them, I guess, move on. Even if it is new, right? Yeah. <laughs> One-two pitch called strike three. 
And another strikeout, and that will end the inning for the Rangers as they go in order back-to-back -back innings. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. Top of the fourth we go. Scored tied at zero on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Spring is right around the corner and Holder Drug wants to remind you of our new information for the month of March. Right now, we have many bridal and baby registries. And if you would like to register with us, come see us in person. New items from Market have arrived just in time for spring break shopping. Check out these items in store or on our VIP Facebook page. As always, free delivery on your medications and prescriptions. Plus, free gift wrapping for your bridal shower. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alba. A catcher number 24, Christian Olea, will lead things off as he swings and misses for strike one. Olea followed by Brendan Bard and Shane Poe do up. For the Wonder Boys, we open up the top of the fourth. That opening pitch brought to you by Ridgeview Vet Hospital. As the hospice is upstairs, count evens up 1-1. One, one. And Wonder Boys have left four on. Rangers just one so far. Fly ball hit foul down the right field line as it gets out of play. Count will be a one and two to Christian Olea. And Wonder Boys with just the one hit. Rangers so far do not have a hit yet as there's a ground ball foul down the third base line as Coach Dawson just gets out of the way. Thought maybe he was going to demonstrate some futsal skills yeah. there, but he, but he waved on it and passed. Here's the one, two. Ooh, tried the outside corner, just missed. Count evens up two and two. Two, two count as Olea leading the inning off. And the delivery. Ground ball hit to third. Grace will charge, pick and throw across the diamond for the 5-3 put out, and there's one down. Good strong throw across the diamond there to get him confident throw. He's got his footwork right. Let it fly. You know, that was just got him by a stride. Yeah, it did. And that wasn't a softly hit ball. It's a good runner. Good speed, but uh, good gun there at three at third. Brendan Bard out of the plate. A six foot four sophomore out of Kansas City, Kansas. First pitch. This is for ball one. He walked in his last at bat. Wonder if Hall of Famer Ryan Hindergard's listening. Great third baseman here back in the day. 1-0 count. This is up to 2-0 now. Man. Actually, he just texted me a little bit ago. Did he? I don't he, know how, he might be listening. I don't know how that one was not a strike. That is a tall zone. 2-0 make it 3-0 now. That one missed up and away. Make this guy hit it. The Haas trying to abort his fourth walk. And delivers a cold strike there across the plate. Count moves to three and one. And it's not fair to make this assessment, but there's always some hitters that look like they'd rather walk than hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a gosh. fly ball down the left field line. Giving chase will be right near the track, and he'll make the grab just in front of it, actually, for out number two. Again, if that wind's blowing out at all. Now, you could also probably say that about one of ours earlier, though, too. So, yeah. Maybe two of them. Yeah. Two down. And DeHaas trying to go in order here. It's the Wonder Boys as 
Shane Poe will hit. He'll take a breaking ball called strike count is 0-1. Well, this is a pitcher's game to this point, isn't it? It certainly is. They both settled in. 0-1, liner hit back up the middle through for a base hit. Second hit of the day for the Wonder Boys. First for Shane Poe. And that's a two-out single to extend the inning. No shame in that. That's the, uh, the go-to play as a hitter is to get good solid contact right back up the middle. So now to the plate, shortstop number 14, Cole Dawson, who flew out to right last time up. Again, they've not tried to test our catcher's arm. He's got a short lead there at first. Dawson delivers a strike on the inside corner. Count is 0-1 to Cole Dawson. You wonder sometimes if managers get impatient. Make, make a steal here, see if we can make something happen. Two down. Throw over, getting back is Poe. Poe is the threat to run. He does, he's second on the team in stolen bases with seven so far this year in eight attempts. And once again, throw over as Poe gets back. He had a little bit bigger lead that time than he did the first time. Here's the 0-1. In there for a called strike. Count is 0-2 now to Dawson. No two pitch up coming from DeHaas. Poe will take off. Fly ball into right center. This should do it, though, as Trevor Sears got the beat on it. He'll make the grab, and that'll do it for the Wonder Boys. Here in the fourth. No runs on one hit, no errors with one left on. We move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Score tied at zero on the Community Bank School Board. When we come back, Rangers do up. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding areas since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll hope you'll consider Beatles Nursing Home located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Here at Bank Central, we like to shoot for three, and that includes our services to you. From fee-free checking accounts to competitive CD rates and all the way to consumer lending, stop by any of our locations in Alva, Enid, Woodward, and Cherokee, or call 580-327-1122 to talk with one of our qualified professionals. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Once again, leading off for the Rangers will be the left fielder, number 31, Carson Wright. 0 for 1 today. Flew out to center last time up. It's a 1 0 count. They got a 1 1. Wright laid off that one. Left that one was a little bit low. And it was over the outside part of the plate, too. Not the pitch he was looking for. 1-1 one, one from John Gray. There's a line driving to right field down for a base hit. And a leadoff single for Carson Wright. And the Rangers have their first hit of the evening. Well, Carson Wright continues uh, his hitting streak now to nine games. Nine games, yeah. Oh, that was good hitting there, too. He just put the bat on the ball and zip. It went to the outfield. I think he cleared the infield and then hit. Now big spot here for the DH, Chad Green. He's 0 for 1 today. See if that base hit gets the Rangers offense going here in the fourth. 
As Green will look at a called strike count as 0-1. Green flew out to center last time up. You know, they're going to stay outside on him. I, uh, you know, you don't want to have your DH sacrifice himself, but this pitcher's not going to give him anything fat. Count evens up 1-1 as that pitch missed there. Wright is a threat to run, has attempted nine stolen bases, but he's only been successful five times this season. And hope for a mistake pitch. He'll go. Here's the throw down. It's not going to be not even close, as that may have actually hit Wright. He slides safely into second for a stolen base. Coach Bone having a word with the home plate umpire. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't catch what the controversy was. <laughs> oh, okay. Whether it was a, a strike or a ball. It so is. he's quite. Coach Bowen's questioning whether or not that he actually swung on that. No, home plate umpire is saying yes, he did swing. Well, so because, it is a, because the umpire's out there at second. He's not. Yeah, he wanted them to kind of help him out, but that's going to be strike three on the swing there from Green. And now there's one down. Yeah. So now to the plate, the right fielder, number six, Paul Sachin, who's 0 for 1 today. Sachin again came in with a seven game hitting streak. So that's the difference back when we had two umpires. You know, when, uh, when I was umpiring, you have a runner first. We're tucked in on the infield, not back over here on the, on the line where he was. And so the first base umpire has to run over there to make the call on the throw. And so he's out of position to see if the swing went across the plate. That pitch to Sachin up and in for ball one. In one out, bottom of the fourth. Runner in scoring position for the Rangers. Again, a single scores in here, so Paul just gets you a pitch you like. He'll be chasing one. That's a fly ball lifted into center. That could be trouble. On the run, making the grab as Jones near the warning track. As Wright's going to tag up, he's headed for third. They're going to send him to home. Here's the throw in and the tag at home. And Ole tags him out at home. And that's going to do it for the inning. Worth a try. We're in the middle of the game. He made a good uh, slide attempt there. Kind of faked the left hand and came around with the right hand. He did, and I, you know, I don't blame him. Carson Wright got a good jump after making that catch from second. And he's got wheels. He yeah. does, no question. And but that was a great catch by the center fielder out there. That will be a double play to end the threat here in the fourth. So the Rangers do not pick up any runs. And they did have one hit, no errors, with one left on. We'll head to the top of the fifth. Score tied at zero still on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. You put in the work, and every day you go out and prove it again. You're an expert in your field. That's what farmers do every day. They go out and get the job done. If that's you, then Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma wants to thank you. For a livestock or crop loan, equipment loan, ag real estate, or operating loan, we will tailor a loan to your needs. Talk to one of our ag specialists by phone or stop by a branch today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma and Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, online at farmcreditloans.com. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we move to the top of the fifth inning. As it will be the bottom of the order, Grant Jones to lead things off for the Wonder Boys. Start him off with a hard fastball inside corner. 
That one too far inside as the count moves to one and one. It'll be Grant Jones followed by Cabronis along with Nick Jones. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and missed. Count moves to one and two. Staying inside on him. He did, and Jones chased that one, couldn't get to it. Doss ready to go, working quickly with a 1-2 pitch. That's a line drive and a right down for a base hit. Lead off single for Grant Jones, his first hit of the day. Third for the Wonder Boys. Well, the hitters are getting second looks at the pitching, and uh, they should be trying to figure it out. Taking signs from the coach down there at third. So Marcos Cabronas will head to the plate. One for two, or 0 for 1 today. Walked uh, in his last at bat back in the third. Flew out to right in the first. He's going to show bunt. He bunted that one foul. Styles arguing with the home plate umpire. Well, that it hit him yeah. as he was out of the box. Well, and now the home plate umpire is going to bring the two in the field and have a chat about this. He's just going to see if they saw it. Yep. Oh, it's going to stay with the foul ball. Pretty quick and easy right there, yep. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, as, as a catcher, it's worth the, the appeal there, the try. So it is a 0-1 count to Cabronas. There's the throw over to first. Grant Jones gets back. Now I hear a train. Yeah. Planes, trains, and we know. Automobiles. Wheels, yeah. Cabronis showing Bunt. Here's the 0-1. And Bunt's at the third, fielded by Wright. He'll throw to first. Just get the out of first in time. Good Bunt. But it does move Grant Jones to second. A little softer. He could have maybe had it for a hit. But the important thing was get the runner into scoring position. And he pulled it off. So Cabronis with the sack bunt to move the runner over. Grant Jones now still or stands at second with Nick Jones to the plate. Runner in scoring position for the Wonder Boys. See Haas checks the runner at second, now comes home. That went inside and off the plate to Nick Jones for ball one. Jones 0 for 1 today, walked in the first, flew out to right in the third. Him, playing him to pull. Get the shortstop holding on the runner at second. Holding the runner at second. Here's the 1-0. That went into the turf. Nice stop from Styles. Count move to 2-0 now. I think this is uh, airplane 7. Yeah. For those of you keeping score at home. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the same airplane. <laughs> Sounds exactly the same. They'll run out of fuel at some point, right? My neighbor across the street, James, has is a pilot, but uh, I think he usually likes to uh, fly on on clear clear skies now. Well, that two-zero pitch was way inside, and Styles kind of had to dive to his right to make that grab, keep that one from going behind him. Three-zero to Nick Jones. Haas with the delivery and misses for ball four. Fourth walk issued by De Haas. And the Wonder Boys now have runners at first and second with one out here in the top of the fifth. Infield fly rule in effect. Keaton Ranallo to the plate. Struck out in the first, flew out to center in the third. He's 0 for 2 today. Is he their top hitter, Dustin? Is it? Uh, the guy on deck is. Okay. Schwenke. That pitch missed for ball one. And you don't think you really want to load the bases for Schwenke with one out. No, ideally you can turn a double play here, but you're going to have to make this, you're going to have to challenge this hitter. Here's the 1 0. Inside and off the plate, and Styles will go out and have a word now with Garrett DeHaas, and it looks like Coach Bigford will as well. We'll take a 30-second break and come back. One out here at the top of the fifth, no score. 
Wonder Boys runners on first and second. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief. These are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential, and compassionate place to land. Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound, and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org. Conference on the mound appears to be over. It's a 2-0 count to the hitter, Keaton Ranallo. We do see action now for the Rangers in the bullpen. As I believe, they've got the right-hander Dawson Toborg up. I'd like to see if DeHaas can get out of this jam, though. In one out here at the top of the fifth. Runners on first and second. The 2-0 pitch. Make it 3-0. And no uh, communication from the coach to the hitter on this 3-0 count. Probably going to make him throw a strike. Das checks the runner at second, now showing bunt, and it misses outside for ball four. So back-to-back -back walks issued by De Haas, and the bases are now full of Wonder Boys as Jones goes to third. It's Grant Jones, Nick Jones to second, and Ronaldo at first. I remember that Little League where the batter would show a bunt on a 3-0 count to try to shake up the pitcher. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it, maybe I've seen it in the majors too, the bigs, but uh, it's, I don't want to say Bush, but it's true. Schwenke, ground ball through the left side is into left field for a base hit. One run will score. They'll hold up the runner at third. So coming in to score will be Grant Jones and Arkansas Tech strikes first here as they lead it in the fifth, 1-0. So an RBI single from Schwenke. You know, just a few feet to the right, that's a double play. But it's well hit and skirted through. So Nick Jones to third, Vanallo at second. Schwenke now at first after his second hit of the day. Christian Olea will hit the catcher. And De Haas misses for ball one. De Haas to this point has thrown 65 pitches. The 1-0, just inside. And count moves to 2-0 to Christian Olay. Olea. Ole, 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 Ole. <laughs> let's go, let's get a double play here. 2-0 pitch, a sharply hit ground ball down the third base line is foul. As the count moves to 2-1. Rangers have turned 16 doubled plays so far this season. Boy, they could use number 17 right here. Here's the 2-1. Fly ball lifted into right center. This will be Sachin to make the grab. Here's the throw into home. We're going to have a play at the plate. As Sayre, did they get him? They yeah. did. Double play to end the inning. Great throw, great tag. So one. Nick Jones is thrown out at the plate. One hopper, just as you draw it up. Well, the Wonder Boys do pick up one run. On two hits, no errors, with two left on. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Rangers trailing at just 1-0 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is the Northwestern Baseball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's okimready.org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services, and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. 
When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at ENJ Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and EJ Financial are not affiliated. PNS Tire and Alva has been locally owned and operated since 2004. While every business claims to be the best, KNS Tire is the best. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves by coming back to us each and every time. Our amazing services go beyond a regular tune-up or tire rotation. Our team is well-trained and able to take care of all your car care needs, including preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, brakes, and more. Visit knstire.com for more information or come see us at 2590 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Second baseman, number 10, Hagen Barcelo will lead it off as we move to the bottom of the fifth inning. Rangers trailing at just 1-0. Barcelo looks at the first pitch for strike one. Painting that outside corner. Barcelo 0 for 1 today. Again, let off the second inning. Flew out to center. I don't think they're going to throw another fastball back to back on Hagen. Can't imagine. So here's the 0 1. That's a towering fly ball on the left. Coming up, making the grab. And making the catch will be Shane Poe for out number one of the inning. By the time that thing came down into his glove, Hagen was halfway to second base already. That's how high that thing was. Getting close to one of those planes that's flying over, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going to see what little cloud we have up there with a high fly ball. Now to the plate, third baseman number 28, Colby Grace, who's 0 for 1 today. Struck out in his last at bat. Bat was back in the second. Well, well you can tell they're going to pitch him outside. Look how much room the left fielder is giving to the left side of the outfield. Well, no there. kidding. He is playing left center. Here's the 1 0. In there for a cold strike. Count even's up 1 1. And Rangers with just one hit today. To this point against John Gray. That one bounces in off the turf. Count moves to two and one. 45 pitches thrown to this point by John Gray. And this is the ninth flyby for anybody. Like you said, this keeping track. We've yet to see the plane. Two one pitch in there for a called strike. Come on, fellas. Put the bat on the ball here. On deck is the center fielder, Trevor Sayer. 2-2 pitch. And it's over the plate for strike three. And for the second time today, Grace has struck out. And that is strikeout number six for John Gray, and there's one down. You know, this is a good pitcher, but one thing is a hitter that you know automatically, this guy's not wild. He is not going to throw one in your ear or anywhere, so there's a, you can be fearless at the plate. and Hit it where it's pitched, but you got to be ready. So Sayer steps in with two down as he'll look at a cold strike. And yep, outside part of the plate. I don't know what the percentage is of strikes, but I guarantee it's pretty high for Gray today. Yep. And that's another thing you know as a hitter. That one misses outside, though, from Gray. County even up 1-1. And if you just joined us, bottom of the fifth inning, Arkansas Tech came up with one run in the top of the fifth. That is our score. That one misses upstairs for ball two. Left fielder has moved back to traditional left field position, playing him straight away. You can tell the last, last at bat, they're going to keep it outside on him. 2 1 pitch to Sayre. Dig High it, dig chopper. It, dig it. This will be run up on by Dawson. He'll field throw to first. Did he get him? He did at first. 6-3 put out, and the Rangers go in order again here in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. Top of the six we go. Rangers trail at 1-0 on the Community Bank School Board to Arkansas Tech. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They've been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs. 
with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs. Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at tacomacoop.com and get a better service at a better place. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit okiamready.org. That's okiamready.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services, and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alva with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium. We'll have a call to the bullpen for the Rangers brought to you by the Ignite Physical Therapy. New pitcher on for the Rangers will be the six foot two junior right-hander out of Muscatine, Iowa. It'll be number 16, Dawson Toborg. And numbers on Toborg this season. 3.5 earned run average. He's two and one. So far this season, it's his ninth appearance. He's 18 innings, 20 hits, nine runs, seven of those earned, seven walks, 11 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 282 against Toborg this season. Final numbers on DeHaas, he goes five innings, four hits, one run, one earned, five walks, and one strikeouts in 23 batters faced in 67 total pitches. As Brendan Barb will be the first hitter to face Dawson Toborg. First pitch is a fly ball into right center that will be caught by Trevor Sayer. Nice grab there and for out number one. And yeah, he even had to slow down a little bit there and caught it above his hip. He did. There's not a whole lot. I mean, again, it's a long run. Like, and that was hit pretty well. Yeah, well, both, you know, Sation and, and, and Sayer are terrific outfielders. And uh, that was hit right between them. And I thought it was going to go drop in. I did too. When it, when it left. And then. You know, Sarah had to slow down. He got there so quick. Out of the plate, left fielder Shane Poe, who's one for two today. Singled last time up in the fourth as Toberg's first pitch outside for ball one. Playing him straight away. You know, second baseman shaded to the second base bag on the infield here. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Going outside for ball two. Count moves to 2-0 -oh. now to Shane Poe. The infield is playing him to pull a little bit, but the outfield is straight away. Here's the 2-0. -oh. Ground ball. Is it going to get through? It's not. Oh, it goes off the glove of Wiltshire. Not able to make that play. And I imagine that'll be scored a hit. Well, if you asked him what it was, yeah. he'd say it popped out of my glove. I should have had it. So Shane Poe at first, out head to the plate, shortstop number 14, Cole Dawson. One down. Now you're going to try to push to get that second run here, so heads up, infield. That pitch swung on and missed by Cole Dawson. Count is 0-1. Dawson is 0 for 2 today. Not a big lead at first. Will be officially scored a single by Shane Poe, giving his second single of the year or of the year of the game as the count moves to one and one. Not sure that he'd be in the starting lineup. That was his second single of the year. Yeah. Toborg ready to go with the one one. Again, the throw back over. Poe can definitely run.
And they're trying to distract him like they did to Haas, that little hop that they do over there. I mean, the, I guess it's understandable that you might want to throw over. Here's the 1-1. Foul back to the net. Count will move to one and two now. That one had me moving out of the way. <laughs> Reflexes are still intact. That's right. That's a good. That's it's always a good sign, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I guess so. One ball, two strikes to Cole Dawson. Now throw back over, getting back safely is Shane Poe. And the Wonder Boys have five hits so far to this point. Rangers with one. Neither team has committed an error. Wonder Boys have left seven on. Rangers just one. Here's the one-two. High chopper hit to short. There's six to four to three. Not in time. It's a fielder's choice for Cole Dawson. Yeah, just hit too slow. But they got the first out. It's a good thing the runner wasn't going on the pitch on that one. That would have been a tough decision uh, to go to second. Probably would have had a runner at second scoring position with two outs. Having to go to first base to get the out. Well, bottom of the order we go with two down here in the sixth. It'll be Grant Jones who singled and scored the lone run of the game last time up. So Borg misses high for ball one. Credit to that RBI was Logan Schwenke. Dustin, we've continued to have more and more fans show up, you know, after the working hours. A few, a few blankets. Yeah. It's a little cool tonight. Yep. Doborg throws over, getting back again, or actually getting back this time is Dawson. But it is a nice evening to watch a nine-inning Division II baseball game. Two Daw good teams. Dawson does have two stolen bases and two attempts this year. Toborg with a 1 0. That's a ground ball hit to first as Bradford well, looked at second. Then, oh, wait, hold those two outs yep. and he'll step on first for the final out. And that'll do it yep. for the Wonder Boys in the sixth. Good job. No runs on one hit, no errors with one left on. We move to the bottom of the sixth inning. Rangers trailing at 1 0 on the Community Bank School Board. They're due up when we come back. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listings. Talk to Dean, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Albert where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services, including full service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across Northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alpha, Eden, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580-748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Goldbug Athletics. The Alva Moose Lodge is a proud supporter of all Northwestern and Alva public school activities and strives to be the heart of the community through fundraisers and community-based events that make a difference in the lives of individuals, kids, and families throughout Northwest Oklahoma. On a national basis, the Moose Fraternity provides at-risk children with a second chance at life and its senior members a comforting retirement at its five-star senior facility in Florida. If you would like to see how you can help make a difference in the lives of those in need, stop by the Alva Moose Lodge Monday through Saturday from 4 p.m to 10 30 p.m. at 3027 street to learn more catcher number 20 trevor styles will lead it off as he looks at a called strike as again rangers trailing at 1-0 and gray coming into the matchup today had 18 scoreless innings and he's thrown five complete innings so far today make it 23 straight innings without a run given up by john gray pretty impressive we need base runners here I don't care how you get on Count is one and one. That last pitch was a ball. Styles again 0 for 1. Struck out last time up. In there again for a called strike. Count moves to 1 and 2. I'll tell you what, though, and one thing that great, if he misses, he doesn't miss by much. No, and that, as, as a hitter, you know that. And he's painting that outside corner on almost every hitter. And we're, you know, we're just not 
taking it to the opposite field. One, two, misses low. County bits up two and two. Wiltshire on deck and back to the top of the order with Dylan Bradford. Those are the Rangers do up here in the bottom of the sixth inning. You know, I forgot there was a University of New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, fouled back to the net. We'll do it again. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to whiff on the nickname. I'm trying to think. I think it's the Privateers. Could be wrong. I thought it'd be the Graws. <laughs> there we go. That's a ground ball back through the middle, but it's snagged by the shortstop. Dawson makes the throw in time for the 6-3 put out of Styles, and there's one down. Well, I thought that was going through my comment. There we go. Was, I was shortstop right. made a good play on it. Privateers, I was right. Privateers? Well, I know Lafayette's got a great baseball, college baseball program down there. Raging Cajuns, yeah. Yep. Now to the plate, the shortstop, number nine, Jacob Wiltshire. 0 for 1 today. Flew out to right back in the third. That one way off the plate outside to Wiltshire for ball one. I don't know, again, you're... How can I get on base? How can I get on base? 1-0. This one's popped up, and I believe in foul territory. We'll get out of play. We'll land right behind the stands, and then take a nasty hop off the sidewalk. Count is 1-1. One one. I did see a uh, Alva Middle School baseball player here walk by earlier, Brendan Hunt, whose dad played football here, also Army veteran. 1-1 one, one pitch, and that one tapped foul. Wiltshire again kind of almost checked his swing and yeah, moves to 1-2. and two. I think the Alva team beat uh, Timberlake in a doubleheader yesterday, the middle school. 1-2 pitch, misses. Count evens up 2-2. Two and two. There was one game already played earlier today in the Great American Conference. Harding knocked off Southwestern and Weatherford. By scoring two in the top of the ninth, winning at four to two. A Ranger alum and hospital administrator Chris Lauderdale go by. Two-two pitch hit right back to Gray as he'll underhand flip to first, and there's two down. Well, back to the top of the order. Let's see if Dylan Bradford can get anything going here for the Rangers with two down. Bradford again with two outs this season is 13 of 30, hitting 433 coming into today. Got a text from soccer coach uh, Pikarski earlier today. He's out in Las Vegas and it's just raining. He yeah, sent me a that. picture. He said, You love these muddy fields out here. I told him I did enjoy playing on messed up fields. That last pitch was. Downstairs for a ball, for ball one. Here's the 1-0. That one fouled back out of play. Count evens up 1-1 now to Dylan Bradford. Of course, we're back here tomorrow for Ranger Baseball, the doubleheader to wrap up the series, 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock start time. Which means our pregame show begins right around 12.40 p.m. tomorrow. I've not looked at the weather, but... I've not either, but my first thought was, is that... Is that a, a breakfast burrito day is on Saturdays? It could be. Is Bradford? Is that a conference kind of a contract thing? We talked about it today. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping. I said, well, <laughs> I'll probably be here at eleven, so I'll be hungry. <laughs> One ball, two strikes to Dylan Bradford. Here's the delivery. As Gray tried to go one, two, three, but that one missed low. Good eye from Bradford. Yeah, good check. County is up two and two with two down here in the bottom of the sixth. Yeah, I told her buddy Matt Stratton, like, tomorrow will be a great day for one. <laughs> he does a lot for several, many people, so I... 2-2 two -two pitch outside for ball three. Good eye. And Gray, again, has only issued one walk, and that was to this man to lead off the game. Yeah. Just tells you how sharp the John Gray has been today for Arkansas Tech. Yeah. 
He absolutely has been. Very efficient. 3-2 pitch. Ground ball hit foul to the right side. We'll do it again at 3-2. and two. In fact, he's recorded seven straight outs after that Carson Wright single back in the fourth. Let's get on base here. Punch one or? Three, two pitch. There you Line go. drive is down for a base hit and a left as Bradford goes the other way with it. And it's a two out single for Dylan Bradford. Good piece of hitting there. Dropped the barrel on it and just drove a line drive. The Rangers have their second hit of the evening. And out of the plate, Carson Wright. Which, the way Wright has been swinging the bat. Again, nine game hitting streak now. At Homer, two straight games coming in. He's one for two today, is getting back his Bradford to first. That's how dangerous Carson Wright is. I mean, with everything that's been happening, only two hits. Rangers didn't have that whole lot of offense to this point. One swing of the bat, you could be leading the game. Yeah. As Wright, that line drive down it. the left field line. That's gonna Bradford's going to round second. This one will roll all the way to the wall. Bradford's rounding third. Here he comes home. And that's going to be a two-out RBI double to tie it up from Carson Wright. Yep. A lot, of, a lot of outfield out there with Bradford at first and his wheels. Great job. So clutch piece of hitting from Carson Wright and now make it one RBI or more in six of his last seven games. We're going to a little visit here. Yeah, we're going to get a visit to the mound. And we'll take the time out for it. Getting up. Man. <coughs> Two outs here in the man, bottom of the sixth inning. Let's go ahead and take a time out here on Classic Hits 105.7. Keeping your car clean is an inexpensive way to protect its value. Shirley Shine Car Wash, located west of Love, offers a six-bay self-serve car wash, including three truck bays. Your wash options include soap, tire cleaner, foamy brush, wax, spot-free rinse, and air chamois. And you can pay with credit, debit card, or quarters. Don't just clean the outside, clean the inside with its self-serve car vacuum. You can also clean your pet with their self-serve dog walk. Company vehicle? Be sure to ask about our fleet account. So the next time your vehicle needs rinse or detail, come by Shirley Shine Car Wash, located right here in Alba. Uh, Chad Green at the plate here. Two down, runner at second for the Rangers. And first pitch is a ball, down and away. Again, two down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Runner on second is Carson Wright. They've been throwing outside on him here, so. Ooh, kind of mistake pitch that one. A little breaking ball. He wasn't looking for it. Count evens up one and one. Base hit, base hit. They got two, uh, well, they got one thrown in the bullpen and another one. Kind of loosening his arms. 1-1 one, one pitch in there for a called strike. You know, I told myself I'm going to try and strain my voice, and I just did in that last hit. Boy, that was a good pitch. <coughs> so going to try to bust him inside here with a fastball or keep it away. 1-2 oh. pitch, swung on her missed as he chased the high fastball for strike three, and that'll do it in the six for the Rangers. They do come up with one more run on two hits, no errors with one left on. Score tied as we move to the seventh on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. We know how much love your pet gives you. We're Ridgeview Veterinary Hospital. We're always here for you and your pet. Ridgeview Vet Hospital provides the most comprehensive care from regular checkups to emergency. Ridgeview Vet Hospital proudly provides veterinary services to all animals, large or small. Visit us today to let Dr. Loman and his staff take care of your extended family 
located right here in Alva, or call us to schedule your appointment at 580-327-0201. Ridgeview Vet Hospital is a proud supporter of Alva and Northwestern activities. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Alva Health and Wellness is Alva's newest healthcare option, offering a broad array of services geared to address today's most common illnesses and injuries. Alva Health and Wellness offers services for you and your child, including sickness, wellness, chronic care management, vaccinations, weight loss, and so much more. Find more information online by visiting alvahealthandwellness.com or come by and make an appointment with Jeremy Logston in person at 515 College Avenue right here in Alva. This month's sale is happening right now at G&G Home Furnishings in Alva. It's our annual President's Day sale happening through the month of February. Items on sale is everything from furniture to appliances to home or business decor from all of your favorite brands. You can also browse through our selection of mattresses that are on sale as well. So don't miss out on all the savings during the annual President's Day sale happening at G&G Home Furnishings located at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Cabranas to lead it off as there's a ground ball hit to third. Fielded by Grace. Throws to first in time for out number one of the inning. Yeah, and was, there's one down. That yeah, was a heck of a play. That ball was nearly behind him when he caught it. It was a shot. So now to the plate, the DH number 29, Nick Jones. Jones has walked twice, flew out to right in the third. As Dawson Toborg back out on the mound for the Rangers, delivers the pitch. Upstairs to Jones for ball one. Sky has kind of a funny hue to it right now. 1-0 pitch. Line foul back to the net. County it's up 1-1. One, one. And Rangers with three hits here this evening. Arkansas Tech with five as we move to the top of the seventh. The two-out RBI double by Carson Wright that tied the game and it made me lose my voice again. That pitch is fouled off to the left side as it gets out of play. Count will be 1-2 to Nick Jones. There is no shame in being emotional about it. <laughs> about a continued streak and hitting. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I was going to get out of break. Here's the one-two pitch. That's a fly ball lifted down the left field line, giving chase and trying to come up with a sliding catch was right. Not able to get to it as it lands in foul territory. Piano will stay at one and two. Yeah, that... Uh... 10, 12 feet foul right there at the base of the that little wall. It's kind of a dangerous attempt. He pulled up, protected himself. Eaton Ranallo is on deck for the Wonder Boys. Wonder Boys do have some action in their bullpen. They've got a right-hander and a left-hander up. Here's the one-two. Missing upstairs is Tobor. County mids up two and two now. Not a bad miss uh, going high, but looks like he might be a low ball hitter or capable. 2-2 Two -two pitch. That one bounces in, gets away from Styles, but it forces the count to go 3-2 and two now. I guess that uh, caught Styles. Plate umpire has asked the batter to step back for a little bit so Styles can collect himself. He checked with the catcher and Good job, Blue. Full count. Three two pitch upcoming. One out here in the top of the seventh. Toborg delivers. Just missed low for ball four, and it's a one out walk drawn by Nick Jones. That's the third time today Nick Jones has walked. He just doesn't want to hit. 
Nope. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> Just, if you can get on base, any way you can get That's on. That's right, especially in a game like this. Yeah. Two of their stronger hitters back to back here, I think. Yeah, Keaton Ranallo again, followed by Logan Schwenke with one out here in the seventh. Ranallo is 0 for 2 today. Struck out once. He's also walked once. Tilborg delivers upstairs for ball one. 14th pitch thrown by Toborg since coming in. Wouldn't surprise me to see a hit and run here. Here's the 1-0. Cross the plate for a called strike. Count evens up 1-1. Now to Keaton Ranallo. Can we ask Siri for a double play? Yeah, yeah, no kidding, right? Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that one misses low. Nice stop from Styles. Runner holds it first. Count moves to two and one now. In two balls, one strike, one out. Score tied at one. Game one of a three-game series. Game two and game three will follow tomorrow at one and four o'clock. Two one pitch. Fouled back as you can hear that through the crowd, Mike. Count evens up two and two. That was a lot of power on the fastball and big power on the swing. Two two pitch to Keaton Ronaldo. Tilborg delivers. Swung on a miss for strike three, and there's two down. Big pitch there from Tolbert. Yeah, it was tipped. Styles hung on to the tip. Good glove. Now, now to the guy, or now to the plate, the guy who's delivered pretty much today for Arkansas Tech, Logan Schwenke. Singled in the first, grounded out to short in the third, and had the RBI single to give the Wonder Boys the lead in the fifth. This is... This is his first look at this pitcher, our pitcher. As Tobord goes right after him with a cold strike, count his own one. Yeah. Caught the black outside part of the plate there, fastball. Again, runner on first is Nick Jones after the one out walk. Stay outside on him. A one pitch to Swanky. Did he go around? They'll appeal. He did not. Count even up one one. Didn't really even appear close to me, but uh, you never know. It's good to get a batter's bat moving, even if uh, he doesn't follow through on the swing. Tilburg with a 1-1. Line shot into right, is down for a base hit. Nick Jones will hold up at second after the two-out single, and runners now at first and second for the Wonder Boys. Another... Hit today for Schwanky, his third of the game. Yep. Just line drive, hit it, took it where it was, and, uh, you know, they didn't really want to try to challenge uh, Paul's <laughs> arm out there in right field. That, that throw to home, I think, was like, okay, we're going to do, we're gonna do this again. Yeah, I mean, it, typically you'll have a <laughs> – well, anyway. He comfortably hit the cutoff, and uh, it was a good decision not to challenge him. Catcher Christian Olea to the plate. Now he's 0 for 3 today. As Toborg checks the runner at second, now comes home. He'll miss outside for ball one. And six hits now for the Wonder Boys. They left eight on base. They've been able to get runners on today. Yeah. Rangers doing a good job of keeping them away from home plate. Here's the 1-0. Inside, he checked his swing. They did not go around. Count moves to 2-0. and yeah, That was just off the plate inside, too. I, man, initially, I thought that was going to catch the, the call. Two zero -oh pitch. Fouled back to the net. Count moves to 2-1. and one. A 
Let's see if we can't get a second strike here and get the out. 2 1 pitch is in there for a called strike. Count evens up 2 2. Great pitch. Low outside corner. Fastball. If you're a hitter, you're wondering what he's going to throw, but regardless, you've got to be able to guard the plate here and put it in play. Toborg checks the runner. Here's the 2 2. Fly ball down the right field line will land in foul territory. We'll do it again at two and two. Told you we'd keep you updated on uh, NCAA regional play in the central region. Harding's women right now leading Pittsburgh State 12 to 10. 3.39 to go, quarter number one. That game again being played on the campus at Southern Nazarene and Bethany. It was the four or five matchup in that region. When do the men play? Uh, tomorrow. 2-2 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. two -two pitch. Ground ball through for the right side. Sachin will field. They're going to send him. Here's the throw home. It is going to be in time. No, it's not. Sliding safely ahead of the tag was Nick Jones. And it's Arkansas Tech leading at 2-1 as they've now got runners at second and third. Yeah, that ball came up about three or four foot in the first base side. By the time he gloved it, he couldn't get back there in time to run or scored across the plate. So Schwenke to second. Olea to, or excuse me, Schwenke to third. Olea to second now. Well, this is a big at bat right here. Braden Bard will step to the plate. Over two today, he's walked once. First pitch to the right-hander, a line shot right at Wiltshire, who makes the grab for the final out, and that'll do it for the Wonder Boys in the seventh. However, they do pick up one more run on two hits, no errors with two more left on. It's time for our seventh inning stretch, brought to you by Peak Environment as we head to the bottom of the seventh inning. Rangers trailing at 2-1 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Spring is right around the corner and Holder Drug wants to remind you of our new information for the month of March. Right now, we have many bridal and baby registries, and if you would like to register with us, come see us in person. New items from Market have arrived just in time for spring break shopping. Check out these items in store or on our VIP Facebook page. As always, free delivery on your medications and prescriptions, plus free gift wrapping for your bridal shower. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alva. Welcome back to our seventh inning stretch. Again, brought to you by Peak Environment. We'll have a call to the bullpen brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. As Arkansas Tech will go to the six-foot left-handed senior out of Fort Worth, Texas. Looks like number 16, Will Horton. So left-hander Will Horton will come in. He's got a 1.47 earn run average. He's 3-1. and one. It's his 12th appearance of the year, the most out of any wonder boy. 18 and a third, 15 hits, three runs. All those earned, two walks to go along with 19 strikeouts. Teams are hitting just 227 against Horton so far this season. It's a pretty good ERA. So leading things off will be Paul Sachin as the first pitch in there for a called strike. As we're underway, bottom of the seventh, Rangers trail at two to one. Dustin, there's a, maybe some of the baseball listeners out there can let me know. There's a Willie Horton that played in the MLB, but I can't remember which team? 
in which decade? <laughs> I'm almost positive Willie Horton was the baseball player in the MLB. 1-1 pitch is fouled off out of play into the parking lot. It'll be Paul Sachin, Hagen Barcelo, and Colby Grace due up for the Rangers. Paul Sachin again as a leadoff hitter this year. Four for 19, hitting 211 as that pitch misses. Count evens up two and two. Somehow find a way to get on. Here's the 2-2 from Horton. Upstairs for ball three. And we told you Horton had only issued three walks coming in, or excuse me, two walks to go along with 19 strikeouts. 3-2 pitch. Misses for ball four. There it is. Lead off walk for Paul Sachin. Good at bat there. Laid off of it. So big spot here for Hagen Barcelo. Barcelo again came in with a six-game hitting streak. He's trying to extend that today. As Carson Wright has extended his to nine. First pitch to Barcelo. Misses for ball one. Ah, good friend, Pat Harkin, left fielder for Detroit Tigers. There you go. I knew somebody would do it. We are going to get a visit to the mound with Horton. We'll take a 30-second break and come back. Bottom of the seventh inning, Rangers trail it 2-1. Uh, to one. They've got a runner on first with nobody out. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma, and the surrounding areas since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Welcome back out of the break. Hagen Barcella will step into the box again with a 1-0 count after the visit on the mound is over. There's a southpaw, so as a base, he's, oh, man. He'll throw back over, getting back his Sachin. Looks like he barely caught that 45-degree from here, but that's such a hard thing to call as an umpire if you step into the base enough for that to be a legal throw. 1-0 count to Hagen Barcelo. Horton, here's the delivery. Swung on and missed. He chased that one on the outside. Count evens up 1-1. Looked like he kind of yanked his shoulder a little bit. Keep your head on it. Just hit it where it's pitched. Just put it through the infield. 1-1 one, one pitch. There Line is. drive, oh, caught right. by the second baseman. Nice snag by Carbronis there for out number one. I'm going to stop saying that, Dustin. I thought that was going to get through, but. It's the second time I said, there you go, and <laughs> line drive caught. He did a little bit more on that one. Now I think we're going to see a. I have see to it. see a change, don't we? Yeah, I think so. I think we are going to see a pitching change. We are. So Horton is done after coming in and facing a, a couple of. A couple of hitters here to start the seventh. Again, this call the bullpen brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. Bottom of the seventh inning. Rangers trailing at 2-1 to one on the Community Bank School Board. Do open when we come back will be Colby Grace. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high-quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll hope you'll consider Beatles Nursing Home located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Here at Bank Central, we like to shoot for three, and that includes our services to you. From fee-free checking accounts to competitive CD rates and all the way to consumer lending, stop by any of our locations in Alva, Enid, Woodward, and Cherokee, or call 580-327-1122 to talk with one of our qualified professionals. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Member FDIC. 
equal housing lender. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. You put in the work and every day you go out and prove it again. You're an expert in your field. That's what farmers do every day. They go out and get the job done. If that's you, then Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma wants to thank you. For a livestock or crop loan, equipment loan, ag real estate, or operating loan, we will tailor a loan to your needs. Talk to one of our ag specialists by phone or stop by a branch today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma and Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, online at farmcreditloans.com. Welcome back. New pitcher on the mound for the Wonder Boys as Horton comes in, faces the first two hitters. Arkansas Tech will go to the 6'3", junior right-hander out of Hastings, Nebraska, transfer out of Western Nebraska College, number 32, J.T. Cafferty. Cafferty's ERA is 0.87. It's his eighth appearance of the year. He's gone 10 and a third, eight hits, two runs, just one earned, six walks, 13 strikeouts. Teams are hitting just 211 against Cafferty so far this season. As Cafferty will face Colby Grace. When Grace, uh, big at bat here, he's 0 for 2 today, struck out twice. Struck out swinging back in the second, struck out looking in the fifth. Again, leading off from first will be Paul Sachin with one out, bottom of the seventh inning. That's crushed into right center, and that is down for a base hit. One hop will hit the wall. Grace heads for second, Sachin rounding third. He's headed for home. And he's going to slide in safely, and the game is tied at two after a RBI double from Colby Grace. Our two runs have both scored on doubles with the runner at first base. Good base running and nice timely hitting there in the gap. You're going to have to stay in the booth, sir. I mean, he walks in, and it's a double, and, yes. you know. Well, and he, I think he wanted me to rub his belly, his Buddha belly, but I... I padded it. That counts. <laughs> yeah. Now to the plate center fielder, Trevor Sayre. Cafferty delivers outside for ball one. Coach Goodno, out, or Goodno. Coach Goss out there listening, Trent. Yeah, appreciate saying, Trent out there listening. Saying we sounded really good. That's good. It's Friday night. What time is it? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Here's a high chopper hit to third. Bard will field, throw to first in time for the 5-3 put out. Runner will hold it second, and there's two down. Said so he's in his garage listening, and his mother, Betty, is listening. Faithful listener, I'm told. Yes, yes. So big spot for the catcher, Trevor Stiles, and I think we may see another pitching change by Arkansas Tech. Looks like we will. So call the bullpen number three for Arkansas Tech. Brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. Two down, runner on second. Again, as uh, Trevor Stiles will hit when we come back. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief these are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential and compassionate place to land. Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's okimready.org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration.
Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as Arkansas Tech goes to the bullpen. The six foot two left handed junior out of Lee Summit, Missouri, a transfer out of Truman State University, number 45, Simon Murray. So Simon Murray will come in to pitch for the Wonder Boys as it was Horton to hit the, the first two hitters, then Cafferty came in and gave up the RBI double. And so they replaced him with Simon Murray as he'll pitch to Trevor Stiles. Runner on second with an opportunity to give the Rangers their first lead of the game. That pitch misses high for ball one to Stiles. Upstairs. Got there quick to the mitt, though, didn't it? Uh, it certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> you just see it from up here, the velocity of Simon Murray. In there again, this time a cold strike. Count even's up 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you might see a breaking ball here and then a pass ball afterwards. Nope. 1-1 one, one catches the outside corner. Count moves to 1-2 now. Grace has his lead from second as he tied it up with that RBI double. One two pitch swung on a miss for strike three, and that'll do it for the Rangers in the bottom of the seventh. But they do pick up one more run on one hit, no errors with one left on. Top of the eighth we go. Score tied at two on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at ENJ Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and EJ Financial are not affiliated. PNS Tire and Alva has been locally owned and operated since 2004. While every business claims to be the best, KNS Tire is the best. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves by coming back to us each and every time. Our amazing services go beyond a regular tune-up or tire rotation. Our team is well-trained and able to take care of all your car care needs, including preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, brakes, and more. Visit knstire.com for more information or come see us at 2590 College Boulevard right here in Alva. The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They have been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs. Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at TacomaCoop.com and get a better service at a better place. Welcome back here to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium in Alba, Oklahoma tonight. As we're here at the top of the hour at 8 o'clock, as we move into the top of the eighth inning, Dustin Goodwin alongside Steve Barrows here this evening, your Ranger baseball crew here tonight and all season long. As Shane Poe will lead it off for the Wonder Boys as the score tied at two as Dawson Toborg back out to face the Wonder Boys this inning. Line drive at a right is going to be caught by Sachin on the run for out number one. One pitch, one out. So now to the plate, shortstop, number 14, Cole Dawson. Dawson 0 for 3 at the plate, did reach on a fielder's choice last time up. That was again back in the sixth inning. Toborg delivers. In there for a call. Oh, no, my apologies, ball one. Boy, I thought that pitch looked pretty good to me. Well, I thought I saw his arm twitch and move. So Toborg does not get the call. It is a 1-0 count. There's a high chopper down to third. Graceful field. Here's the long throw in time and got him at first. Great play there from Colby Grace, and there's two down. Boy, the key there was to get that ball out of his glove quick, and he did. So now at the bottom of the order, the center fielder, number eight, Grant Jones, who's one for three today. Singled and scored a run back in the fifth. 
Grounded out to first in the sixth inning. Toborg right across the plate. Count is 0-1. Both teams with two runs. Wonder Boys with seven hits, Rangers with four. The Wonder Boys have left ten runners on, Rangers three. 0-1 pitch, a grounder hit. Barcelo makes a sliding grab, throws to Toborg, and it goes off of his glove. And it's safe at first is Grant Jones. Uh, a little technique there, a little technique work would have, would have made the difference. Uh, pretty much pitcher ran straight to the bag. And second baseman threw it a little quicker than what he needed to, but dang it. So Jones reaches on the air, committed by Barcelo. So we go back to the top of the order with Marcus Cabranes. Cabranes again last time up. Grounded out to third in the seventh as he'll take a first pitch breaking ball strike. He's reached base safely once today. There was a walk in the third. You know how you want to pronounce it, but we're not. Yeah. <laughs> you know, neither uh, starter of this game can be the winner. After both of them pitched, uh, pitched very well today. Yeah, yeah. Marcos Cabranos again. Facing an 0-1 count. Doborg delivers. High chopper hit down the third baseline foul. And Cabronas quickly behind on the count 0-2 now. No balls, two strikes to the hitter. Oborg will throw back over to first, getting back safely is Grant Jones. You know, there's not much, not many things better. I, I'd include soccer, but not many things better looking at a, at a baseball field at night. Just pic picturesque. 0-2 pitch. Runner will take off. It misses low, and it'll be a stolen base for Grant Jones. So now runner in scoring position as the count moves to one and two to Cabronas. Styles did not attempt to throw down. No, it was low. And he kinda, I couldn't tell if he had to block it or if he just didn't catch it clean low, but it was low. That's Jones's four stolen base in five attempts. Tobor checks the runner. Here's the one, two. Going outside. Count evens up two and two now. Good pitch. Good pitch. Batter had to think about it. And now Coach Bowen is going to go out and have a word, looks like, with Dawson Toborg. So we'll go ahead and take it as well. 2-2 two -two count with two down here in the top of the eighth. Runner on second. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit okiamready.org. That's okiamready.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. Conference on the mound is over. Actually, it looks like I think the Rangers did end up going to the bullpen. So we'll take another timeout, come back as the Rangers call the bullpen, brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. Talk about the new pitcher when we come back. This is Northwestern Baseball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alva with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. 
Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listing. Talk to Dean, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Albert where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services, including full-service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across Northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alva, Eden, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580-748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Goldbug Athletics. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as the Rangers again go to the bullpen. They will go the 5'11 right-handed junior out of Hastings, Nebraska, number four, Jacob Shaw. Shaw with an 1.8 earn run average. He's 3-0. It's his 11th appearance. Does come in with five saves on the season. Again, Shaw with those uh, again, saves. He's seventh in all of Division Two. 15 innings, 12 hits, 3 runs, all those earned, 6 walks, 14 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 222 against Jacob Shaw this season. And again, you don't see that very often. Coach, a guy gets taken out with a 2 2 count and in clubs, essentially the Rangers closer. Yeah, and he's had, you know, he's had pretty good command. I mean, he's been ahead of most of the hitters, I think. And he was here, too. So, Marcos Cabronis. We'll step back into the box with a 2-2 count with a runner on second. As Jacob Shaw ready to go with his first pitch, and here it is. Ground ball hit to short, fielded by Wiltshire. Throws to first in time for the 6-3 put out, and that'll do it for the Wonder Boys in the eighth. So no runs on no hits. One error and one left on. Yep. Bottom of the eighth we go. Jacob's like uh, one pitch. Okay, I'm going right. to sit down here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Score tied at two on the Community Bank School Board. We're back after this. This is Ranger Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. Keeping your car clean is an inexpensive way to protect its value. Shirley Shine Car Wash, located west of Love, offers a six-phase self-serve car wash, including three truck bays. Your wash options include soap, tire cleaner, foamy brush, wax, spot-free rinse, and air chamois. And you can pay with credit, debit card, or quarters. Don't just clean the outside, clean the inside with its self-serve car vacuum. You can also clean your pet with their self-serve dog walk. Company vehicle? Be sure to ask about our fleet account. So the next time your vehicle needs rent or detail, come by Shirley Shine Car Wash, located right here in Alva. At Ignite Physical Therapy, we assist in the therapy of many different aspects, such as advanced problem solving, joint mobilization, treatment of adverse neural tension, evaluation and treatment of muscle imbalance, tissue-specific exercise, and patient education. Dr. Jared Hayda and staff want to get you back to the life that you had before your injury. They have helped so many through rehabilitation, and they can do the same for you. Stop by and see the staff at Ignite Physical Therapy on 520 Glen Street or make an appointment by calling 580-327-3331. We know how much love your pet gives you. We're Ridgeview Veterinary Hospital. We're always here for you and your pet. Ridgeview Vet Hospital provides the most comprehensive care from regular checkups to emergency. Ridgeview Vet Hospital proudly provides veterinary services to all animals, large or small. Visit us today to let Dr. Lohman and his staff take care of your extended family located right here in Alva, or call us to schedule your appointment at 580-327-0201. Ridgeview Vet Hospital is a proud supporter of Alva and Northwestern activities. Shortstop number nine, Jacob Wiltshire will lead it off. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning, score tied at two. As Wiltshire looks at the first pitch for Murray, it's in there for a called strike, Jacob. And the man who made the last out to end the inning. He's 0 for 2 so far today. Will Chire back to the top of the order with Bradford. As Will Chire fouls that one back out of play over the press box, quickly behind 0 and 2 now. I'm not sure how he drops his hands as quickly as he does, but most of Will Chire's swings or balls that come off his bat go up in the air. He just gets under it. 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, and the high heat for strike three. And 
We were given a little note of how quickly Simon Murray gets the ball to home plate. It's around 91, 92 miles an hour. He definitely bring it. Yeah, that's. Uh, you know, but that's not overwhelming for the, for college age guys these days. I don't think. Got to get used to his delivery. Find his release point. Keep your head on it. Now Bradford to the plate. First pitch misses for ball one. Bradford singled and scored a run last time up. That was back in the sixth. That got the Rangers on the board. It was at two out RBI double from Carson Wright that brought him home as the 1-0 misses outside. Count makes it 2-0. Well, I think he's been on base, what, three times tonight? Bradford maybe? Walked and singled. He's been on twice today. Right. Okay. He's up in the count here. That's good. 2-0 pitch. It's in there for a strike. Bradford, of course, with that last single in the sixth, extended his hitting streak now to four games. That's kind of the left-handed pitcher against the left-handed hitter's default pitch right there. Is low, kind of outer half of the plate. There it is again, almost just fell off. Low and outside for ball three. Well, we'd like to get a guy with Bradford's speed on the base pass here as well. Here's the 3-1, ground ball down the first baseline, fielded that one off the hop, did Schwanke, and steps on first for the out number two of the inning. I want to say Tech got off a little bit on that one. Looks like the Rangers are going to go with a pinch hitter. Oh, no, my apologies. I was a little ahead of myself. It's going to be Carson Wright. For some reason, I saw a 21. <laughs> So Carson Wright steps in. Two for three today with an RBI. First pitch upstairs for ball one. Here's Murray with the 1-0. Breaking balls across the plate. Count evens up 1-1. Going to sit on a fastball here and just hammer it. Write it down. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fouled it back to the net. Oh, he hammered it back to the net. He did, yeah. <laughs> one ball, two strikes to Carson Wright. Put it in play. And the delivery. That's it. Good battle. Fouled back again. Count will stay at one and two as Wright just gets a piece of that breaking ball. One two pitch. Inside. Did it hit him? It did. Carson Wright was hit by the pitch. So Rangers have a base runner as Chad Green will step up to the plate. So the leading run is at first base for Northwestern. Didn't that hit the catcher too? It was almost like a pinball there. Yeah, I, could, right. I just couldn't see it. I was screened by the catcher. Green 0 for 3 today. Flew out to center in the first, struck out in the fourth, and again in the sixth. First pitch inside and off the plate for ball one. One-zero count to Chad Green. Green looks at a called strike. Count evens up one-one. They have quick hands here. And runner on first is Carson Wright. Wright will take off. Here's the throw down to second. Is it in time? It is not. Stolen base, Carson Wright. Pitch to the plate was also a ball as the count moves to two and one to Chad Green. Uh, yes, scoreboard showing one and one. Count is two and one. Simon Murray checks the runner. Now comes home. Three and one inside. 
was more of a sweeping curve there a little bit. It took this probably came in about 10 mile an hour slower. Three one pitch. And Green looks at a called strike. Count goes full three and two. Three two pitch. And it's ball four. That one inside and Greed trots down to first after drawing the two out walk. Hard to put too much on it as a pitcher sometimes and you lose that uh, accuracy. Well, so big spot here for Paul Sachin. A pitch runner coming in. Looks like we will see a pinch runner for Chad Green. Aaron Perkins will come in to pitch run for Chad Green. Runners on first and second, two down, bottom of the eighth. Sachin 0 for 2 today with one walk. Outside again off the plate. Murray delivers. Here's the 1-0. Missing again, 2-0. And looks like we're going to see a visit to the mound. A lot of visiting going on tonight. Yeah, it probably should have happened a couple pitches ago. 2-0 count, two down, runners at first and second. We'll take the break for the timeout. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Welcome back to Glass Family Field of Meyer Stadium. Conference on the mound is over. I do want to remind everybody, uh, if you are looking for what well, plans after this, the uh, the Bull Smokehouse Sleuth, the kitchen's going to stay open until 9.30 to accommodate the baseball crowds. So there you go. Excellent, excellent. Now what happens if, you know, I'm not going to say it, but we go beyond, you know. <laughs> Extra innings? Oh, I, oh I said it. You said it. You know, but I'm I'm for it if, if it comes to be. I think we had a defensive change for Arkansas Tech. We did, I, left fielder. We will try and get you that change. I believe it was Brandon Bunton is who checked in. I believe it's Brandon Bunton now there at third, or excuse me, at left field. You said it was left field that made a change? Yeah. There you go. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Low and inside for ball three to Paul Sachin. And our on-deck hitter kind of lives for pressure. Boy, no kidding. Bases loaded for Hagen Marcello. Maybe possible here. Here's the 3-0. Upstairs for ball four. Bases full of Rangers here in the bottom of the eighth with two outs after back-to-back -back walks. Issued by Simon Murray. Right-handed hitter, left-handed pitcher. Well, and Ranger Nation, who else would you rather have up right now? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him do this numerous times, come through. Now we've got a, what are they doing? Center fielder is going to right field, left fielder is going to center, right fielder is going to left. All right, so musical chairs in the outfield. Yeah, we should have had some music for that. All right. We're ready. So Hagen Barcelo, 0 for 3 today. Carson right at third, Perkins at second, Pulse Agent at first. Here we go, first pitch from Murray. Ball one. Boy, and right now, Simon Murray really having a lot of trouble out there finding the strike zone. Yeah, they got a right-hander getting ready to warm up, or warming up down there, trying to get loose. 1-0 to Barcelo. Across the plate for a called strike. 
But it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a fat strike. It was off the off to the outside there a little bit. Well, you could tell by our field by crowd really getting into this one as well. Yep. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Barcelo swings at one out of the zone for strike two. Well, he was telling himself he was going to swing at this pitch, and yeah, it's the wrong one. 1-2 one, pitch upcoming from Murray. And the delivery. Swung on and missed, strike three. Simon Murray gets out of the jam, and that'll do it for the Rangers in the eighth. Blew it by him. Even the best hitters can get, get had down there. Uh, the pitcher kind of did a little taunting coming off the mound, though, towards the bench. Yeah. And I think he's getting a warning. I think you're right. No runs, no hits, no errors, and three left on for Northwestern. We go into the ninth. Score tied at two on the Community Bank School. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Alva Health and Wellness is Alva's newest healthcare option, offering a broad array of services geared to address today's most common illnesses and injuries. Alva Health and Wellness offers services for you and your child, including sickness, wellness, chronic care management, vaccinations, weight loss, and so much more. Find more information online by visiting alvahealthandwellness.com or come by and make an appointment with Jeremy Logston in person at 515 College Avenue right here in Alva. This month's sale is happening right now at G&G &G Home Furnishings in Alva. It's our annual President's Day sale happening through the month of February. Items on sale is everything from furniture to appliances to home or business decor from all of your favorite brands. You can also browse through our selection of mattresses that are on sale as well. So don't miss out on all the savings during the annual President's Day sale happening at G&G &G Home Furnishings located at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Spring is right around the corner and Holder Drug wants to remind you of our new information for the month of March. Right now, we have many bridal and baby registries, and if you would like to register with us, come see us in person. New items from Market have arrived just in time for spring break shopping. Check out these items in store or on our VIP Facebook page. As always, free delivery on your medications and prescriptions, plus free gift wrapping for your bridal shower. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alva. Well, we move to the ninth inning. Score tied at two here on the Community Bank School Board. Dustin go alongside Steve Barrows. And leading things off for the Wonder Boys to begin play will be Nick Jones as the first pitch to Jones misses for ball one. Nick Jones followed by Keaton Ranallo and Logan Schwanky do up. 1-0 pitch bounces in. Count moves to 2-0 now. Again, score tied at two. Arkansas Tech got one in the fifth. Rangers come back with one in the sixth. Wonder Boys one in the seventh. Range back, Rangers came back with one of their own in the bottom of the seventh to tie it up. 2-0 pitch. Missing for ball three is Jacob Shaw. Make him earn it. Make him earn it here now. 3-0 pitch. In there for a called strike. Count goes to three and one. Here's the three one. And it's low for ball four. Lead off walk drawn by Nick Jones. That is his fourth walk of this one here tonight. Okay. It looks like we're going to see a pinch runner for Arkansas Tech. It'll be Aaron Hogue to come in and pinch run, the six-foot junior out of Clinton, Arkansas. So Keaton Ranallo will head to the to the head of the batter's box. He's 0 for 3 today, struck out twice and walked once. Sean delivers, showing bunt. That's a good bunt. That's, that's going to be fielded by Grace. Tough play. Throws to first. Did he get him? He got him at first for out number one. It does move Jones to second, though, on the sack bunt. Yeah, that was five to four on that out. Hagen covered the bag. Excellent bunt. Great play by the third baseman. When it was late, he had to be coming hard. Otherwise, that was clearly going to be a hit. Nelson now to the plate, Logan Schwanke, who's three for four today with an RBI. And Put him on. Yeah, I don't, 
got to say, I don't really blame the Rangers on this one. So Schwenke will head down to first with the intentional walk. Runners will now be at first and second with one out as they'll try their luck with Christian Christian Olea, who did have a hit, though, last time up. It was an RBI single that gave the Wonder Boys the lead in the seventh. Yeah, I think that was down into left field, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yep. Infield fly rules in effect. Shaw delivers a breaking ball for a called strike. Count is 0-1. Here's the 0-1. This one hit foul. Another curveball. Count 0-2 to Christian Olea, the catcher. Should he reach on deck? Brendan Bard. <laughs> 0 2 from Shaw. Bounces in, gets away from Styles. Runners are going to move up to second and third. It's unfortunate. Infield's going to have to come in. So, well, that also takes the double play away. Yeah. So one ball and two strikes down to Christian Olea. Had to put a little too much on that pitch. So Jones and Schwenke both advance on the wild pitch. Infield in for the Rangers. Still have two strikes on him. One two from Shaw missing low. Count evens up two and two. sure you follow through here. Here's the 2-2. Swung on and missed. Did he get it? And he did. Strike three. And a quick tag because the bag was unoccupied. He had to make big throw down the first. Quick tag by Styles. That's a nasty pitch and a great tag. Boy, Olay really didn't get a, all the whole lot of giddy-up get out of the box either. Well, he hardly had any time. I mean, as soon as it hit the yeah. ground, Styles had it and was slapping his thigh. So Braden Bard steps in, trying to be the hero for the Wonder Boys. Score tied at two, two down, top of the ninth. As that pitch fouled back by Bard, count will be 0 and 1. Wonder Boys have left 11 runners on, Rangers with six. Well, let's make it 13. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Shaw checks the runner, now comes home with the 0-1. This is upstairs, count evens up 1-1. Of course, this is any sign of how tomorrow's games are going to go. This is a pretty good start to the series. Yeah. Shaw from the stretch, here's the 1-1. That's a ground ball hit to the right side, fielded by Bradford. He'll flip to Shaw on the final out, and that'll do it here in the top of the ninth. Big time, big time. So the Wonder Boys threaten, but they're not able to score. They pick up no runs on no hits, no errors with two left on. Bottom of the ninth we go. Chance for the Rangers to win it when we come back. Score tied at two on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball, brought to you by Holder Drug and the Rangers Sports Network. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards Program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Welcome back as we move to the bottom of the ninth inning. Score tied at two as 
Colby Grace will lead it off for the Rangers, followed by Trevor Sayre and Trevor Stiles. Back out of the mound is the left-hander, Simon Murray. After the Rangers able to get out of the jam, there in the top of the ninth inning is Arkansas Tech threatened. Had runners at second and third with yeah, just one out. So Colby Grace to the plate, one for three today with an RBI, struck out twice. Colby comes in 20th in division, two in home runs with seven this season. First pitch, and we're underway, bottom of the ninth. And that's in there for a called strike. That is really unusual there. Ball goes through between the catcher's legs behind him. And evidently it was high enough for it to be a strike. There's the 0-1. That one just misses. Count evens up one ball, one strike to Colby Grace. Grace again with that RBI double last time up in the seventh. Here's the 1-1. Grace looks at ball two. Cat moves to two and one. 33 pitches thrown now by Simon Murray. So it's coming in for relief. Has yet to give up a hit. Any runs has walked two batters and struck out three. Two one pitch. Missing for ball three. I think he's worried about throwing it over the plate too much here. I think you're right. And that probably would be two to Colby Grace. <laughs> yeah, bottom of nine. But. He's still got a challenge to hit her. 3-1, and that one hit foul to the right side as, as it gets out of play. Count will go full at 3-2. and two. Yeah, You don't want to put the lead off on base, start off the inning. He's got to come at him. Simon Murray with a 3-2. The lefty delivers. Fouled back to the net. We'll do it again at 3-2. and two. I think last game you and I did, maybe I. 3 2 pitch misses for ball four. Lead off walk drawn by Colby Grace. And the winning run. The winning run is at first base for the Rangers. Saw some of the Ranger baseball players post game. They were walking in the parking lot. Somebody said something. I said, You guys are just a bunch of walk offers. <laughs> right. So it's set up. Looks like where Northwestern's going to go with a pinch hitter. They'll go with Brady Bay Hirano, his 14th appearance, hitting 385, 10 hits, and 26 at bats, has scored nine runs this season and three RBIs for the Rangers. He's had a hot stick the last few games that I've seen. He certainly has. And Bay Hirano pinch hitting, he's one for three. Throw back over. Grace gets back. We do see action in the Arkansas Tech bullpen. They do have a right-hander up. Bejarano in to hit for Trevor Sayre. First pitch to Bejarano showing bunt. And this is at that one for a call. Strike count is 0-1. Going back through the signs again here. Are we going to leave the bunt on or let him swing away? Yeah, you just don't know how good a guy is or how confident he is with the bunt. There's a bunt, and it's foul down the first base side, and well, Bejarano now down 0-2. Yeah, it's still uh, it's not a guarantee that he's not going to try to bunt here, but... Generally, after the second strike, you're swinging. The crop duster again. This is 10. <laughs> That's right. It had been a bit since we had our last one. I know. So, Bejarano back into the box, facing an 0-2 count. Nobody out. Runner on first is Colby Grace. Got to get him to second base. Got to get him to second base somehow. Oh, throw back over. He gets back safely. Yeah, Coach Bowen saying that the pitcher's foot is breaking the plane of the rubber and then coming in. 
Bay Hirano yeah. bunts it right back to Murray. He'll field, throw to first, bad throw. Bay Hirano safe at first, he'll reach on the air. Boy, and Murray had plenty of time and just kind of airmailed that one. Yeah, and it was wide of the wide of the target. Yeah, again, you don't know if it's nerves or or what. I mean, it is a nervy situation. You got the home team batting in the bottom of the ninth. It's tied up, and you can't give up a run here. So now to the plate, the catcher number twenty, Trevor Styles. So do you put Styles onto the bunt? Now it looks like. Get the runner to third. Olea will head out and have a word with Simon Murray. Yeah, he needs to calm him down. Looks like should Styles reach, the Rangers will bring up another pinch hitter as Porter Pittman is in the on-deck circle. Tell you what, the confidence it's allowing Bayerano to still bunt with the two strikes and lay down a good one. Yes, yes, that was impressive. You know, and he got, he got to first base on a throwing here. The fact is, he got the runner to second, and he did it with two strikes on him. That was a good job. Now, I wouldn't, you know, uh, Styles, you're going to have him bunt and get the runner 90 feet closer with two outs. You certainly with, could. You know, two outs to get him home. So conference is over as Trevor Styles will step into the box. Infield fly rules in effect. And we now we have a visit by their manager. Yes, we are. We'll go ahead and take a 30-second break and come back. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Sports Network. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll hope you'll consider Beatles Nursing Home located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Here at Bank Central, we like to shoot for three, and that includes our services to you. From fee-free checking accounts to competitive CD rates and all the way to consumer lending, stop by any of our locations in Alva, Enid, Woodward, and Cherokee, or call 580-327-1122 to talk with one of our qualified professionals. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. You put in the work, and every day you go out and prove it again. You're an expert in your field. That's what farmers do every day. They go out and get the job done. If that's you, then Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma wants to thank you. For a livestock or crop loan, equipment loan, ag real estate, or operating loan, we will tailor a loan to your needs. Talk to one of our ag specialists by phone or stop by a branch today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma and Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, online at farmcreditloans.com. Welcome back here to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we'll have another pitching change for Arkansas Tech. This call to the bullpen brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. They'll go with a 5'10 right-handed senior out of Sherwood, Arkansas. Grant Shahan will be the new pitcher on for the Wonder Boys. Shahan with a 2.10 earned run average, his ninth appearance. He does have two saves on the season. He's gone 25 and two-thirds, 19 hits, eight runs, six of those earned, eight walks, and 32 strikeouts. Teams are hitting just 204 against Shahan this season. But another good pitcher with really good numbers, but the Rangers have been able to get to every one of them. Yeah. I mean, maybe not as far as on the scoreboard goes. They've been able to get them out of the game. Yeah. I mean, here we are, 2-2 two two score in the bottom of the ninth, and we've seen how many? Seven, eight pitchers in both teams, maybe? Somewhere around there. Maybe not. This is the fourth out of the bullpen for Arkansas Tech. So five they've used, and we've used three, so eight pitchers tonight. 
So here we go. Trevor Stiles will hit against Grant Shahan, the right-hander. Runners on first and second. Nobody out, bottom of the ninth. Styles showing bunt, backs off, it'll be ball one. Yeah. And you know, another thing you can do is not show bunt on a, on a pitch and then come back to it the following pitch with a bunt. Runners have their leads, Grace at second, Bejarano at first. You just don't want to hit it right back to the pitcher. Showing bunt again, he'll take the cold strike, count evens up 1-1 one, one as we see Schwanke. Yep, coming hard from first. Mm -hmm. So the third baseline is open on this one. Uh, so if you're going to move them with a bunt, you've got to do it right here. And he's showing it. Showing bunt. Shahan checks the runner. Now comes home. Styles will actually swing and pop this one up as it gets out of play over the Arkansas Tech dugout. It'll be one and two. Yeah, he just didn't have the, the good swing on that one. The pitch was just a little too far towards the end of his bat. Anyway, two strikes. Uh, you move him with a bunt here or let him swing away? <laughs> Got to know your hitters. Looks like he's digging in to swing away. Shahan with a one-two. Outside, low and away. Count evens up two and two now. Going back to the through the signs, Coach Bowen is to the runners at first and second. Still nobody out. How sweet it would be to have runners at two and three with one out or nobody out. They'd be full then. Shan from the stretch checks the runner. Looks at second once more. Now comes home with a two two. Good eye. Just outside. The count goes full three and two. Boy, you saw Styles wanted to, but. Last second laid off. Yeah. Styles has been in some big games. He knows he knows pressure. So three balls, two strikes, nobody out. Bottom of the ninth inning. Runners on first and second for the Rangers. Shahan with a 3-2. This one chopped foul, just getting a piece. Did Styles to stay alive. Gotta put some chalk on the end of that stick. Again, on deck is going to be Porter Pittman. He's going to hit for Jacob Wiltshire. Well, we hope he doesn't have to, but in the event that he does. Yep. Here's the 3-2. Swung on and miss. Strike three is out number one. And Styles has struck out for the third time tonight. Boy, he really took, took something off of that one, too. I think that's what got him the most, not the break, but the speed. So Porter Pittman will now hit for the Rangers. He hits 208, five hits and 24 at bats. This season, Pittman is 0 for 4 as a pinch hitter this year. You know, I, I'm kind of assuming he might have some speed, so if he can lay one down that third base line, that's a hit every day. Or a single's going to, you know. Likely score that runner from second. Here's the pitch from Shahan. This one hit foul. Nice snag by Coach Bowen off the hop. Count will be 0 1. Again, one out. Runners on first and second. Colby Grace at second. After leading off the inning with a walk, and then Bejarano reaching on the throwing air. Here's the 0 1. Towering fly ball down the left field line will get out of play. Count will be 0 and 2. That had some oohs and ahs, didn't it? <laughs> it certainly did. There's crop duster number 11. <laughs> on deck, we go back to the top of the order with Dylan Bradford. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Pittman. That one bounces in, gets away from the catcher all the way, hits the net. Runners will move up to second and third. Ooh, big assist right there. Now, you gonna bunt him home right here on this pitch? Yeah, we've seen Coach Bowen do it before. Did it last year. And we certainly did. They'll score that a wild pitch against Shahan. Not a suicide squeeze, but. Batter's got to get it down. I don't know if the runners 
I don't know. I'm doing it. I'm butting him home right here on this pitch. One two pitch to Pittman. Looks at called strike three, and there's two down. Unlucky. Unlucky. Well, so here we go. Top of the order, Dylan Bradford. Runners on second and third with two down. Yeah, I think folks thought that was up in the zone, but again, if it's close. Yeah, you gotta be swinging. Now Bradford today is one for three. Had the single and scored a run in the sixth, grounded out to first, back in the eighth. And the Rangers walk it off again. That pitch misses low to Bradford. Or can we get a pass ball wild pitch? Can we get a single? Can we get a walk? Next batter up. You know, a lot of room for a bunt, a drag bunt. Lefties used to be really good at drag bunting and pushing it down that third base line, just beat, beating feet to first. Here's the 1-0. Inside. Off the plate, count moves to 2-0, now to Dylan Bradford. Put and they're going to put him on. Yep. They're going to try their luck with Carson Wright. I got to tell you, that one's a... Head scratcher? That's a little bit of a head scratcher for me. I, the only thing is that you've got to force at any base. You do, and you have a righty and righty instead yeah, of the righty lefty. Yeah. But again, one of the better hitters in the league or the conference. Yeah. Carson Wright again tops on the team at average. Again, hitting 395 coming in. He's two for three today with an RBI. First pitch to Wright. In there for a called strike. Count is 0 and 1. I like that. He took a look. Took a look at the pitch. Saw the pitcher's release. Bases full of Rangers. Bottom of the night, two down. It's an 0-1 count to Carson Wright. Get a bigger lead out there at second. Here's the 0-1. Low and away. Ball one. Count evens up 1-1 to Carson Wright. That bigger lead, but the only run that matters is at third or runner. Or, but <laughs> Shahan from the stretch. It's a 1 1 count. Ready to go. Here it is. Swung on her miss for strike two. Now we're one strike away from extra innings. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to go to left field with that a pull up. It was an outside pitch. One two pitch to right. Just make contact. And the delivery. He'll look at ball two. Count evens up two and two. I think that was the kind of pitch that uh, Pittman was called out on. He was up around the letters. But I don't think we're going to see a, a, a looking at third strike here. 2-2 two, two pitch, fouled back to that. We'll do it again at 2-2. Two and two. So Wright stays alive, fouling the pitch off. Shahan with the 2-2. Two, two. Here it is. This one chopped foul towards the Northwestern dugout. We'll do it again. <laughs> Coach Pekarski asked how many crop dusters now. I think we're about like 13 or 14. He's going to say. 2-2 two -two pitch up coming to Carson Wright. Shahan delivers. Ground ball hit to short. Dawson will feel. It's going to be a tough That's throw. Great. Bobbled it. Coming home to score from third is going to be Colby Grace, and the Rangers are going to win it here in the bottom of the ninth again. <laughs> well, all right. I love the win. I hate to see it on an air. That was going to be a tough play. It was in the hole for the shortstop. He was going to have a tough throw to first, and it was going to be too late to go to second. That was just a kind of a pinpoint ball between short and third, and we got away with it. No, he certainly did, and Dawson just kind of bobbled it and just couldn't come up with it cleanly, and the Rangers are going to win it here in the bottom of the ninth. 
knocking off Arkansas Tech in game one of our three-game series by a final score of 3-2 to two. with the win. The Rangers improved now to 17-8, and 9-4 in Great American Conference play. The Wonder Boys dropped to 14-11, and 7-6 and six in conference play. Final score, 3-2. to two. We'll take a timeout. Our McDermott Insurance postgame show is next. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief. These are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential, and compassionate place to land. Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound, and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium. Northwestern, a winner. Here in the bottom of the ninth, walking this one off, they'll officially give Carson Wright a single and an RBI on that final play. As again, it was, uh, it was hit deep in the hole, but that was, again, like you said, that was going to be a really tough play for Dawson to make from short either way. Yeah, I don't think it, uh, the runner would have uh, beat him to second if he went that way, and it was going to, yeah, I mean, it was just going to be a tough play. And, uh, you know, I hate to see the guy bobble. At least I'd like to see the throw being made, you know, um, for him, having played shortstop. And just, uh, you don't want to boot it, bobble it. And, uh, but I, I think the nerves got to him just a little bit, not just uh, short, but I think uh, Arc Tech, you know, felt a little nervy trying to hold off and, and win, get this win. Oh, no question. Again, yeah, you could tell with all the pitchers they had brought in and, it just it almost looked like they were just never comfortable with with who they had on the mound and decided, hey, we're going to go to this guy, we're going to go to this guy, and then I mean they were fine with their starter who yeah know, who was just pretty dominating and uh, yeah it's a good thing we got through their bullpen. I think we may have just lost our crowd mic, the batteries, too. That's all right, though. It's perfect timing as the game's over. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go through the final numbers brought to you by Shirley Shine Car Wash. Again, the Rangers picked up one in the sixth, one in the seventh, and, of course, to win it here in the bottom of the night. Uh, he's come up with three runs, five hits, one error. Arkansas Tech with one in the fifth, one in the seventh, two runs, seven hits, one error here tonight. They sent 32 to the plate. Again, two runs, seven hits, two RBIs, eight walks. They struck out just three times and left 13 runners on base. And that's, uh, that's going to be one of your Coach Dawson not going to be happy about tomorrow or later on tonight. Oh, that's a talking point, yeah, right away. And, and the guys know it, but it'll just be – reinforced and reminded to them that, uh, listen, fellas, when we get on the bags, we've got to come home some of the time, you know, yeah. or, or more times than not, and they didn't. Rangers sent 30 to the plate, three runs, five hits, three RBIs. They walked six times, struck out 12, and again, they left six runners on base as the hero today. Again, uh, Carson Wright going three for four at the plate with two RBIs in this one. Jacob Shaw is going to get the win, his fourth of the season, going an inning of third. Uh, walked two batters, had one strikeout, six batters faced. The loss will be credited to Shahan, who goes two and a third, one hit, one walk, two strikeouts, and four batters faced. De Haas, the starter, went five innings, four hits, one run, one, one earned, five walks, and one strikeout. Gray on the other side pitched brilliantly for six innings. Again, three hits, one run, one earned, one walk, seven strikeouts, and 21 batters faced. As it all adds up to a three to two victory for the Rangers here on game one of our three-game series this weekend in Alva. And, uh, Coach, final thoughts uh, from you before we get out of here. It's an impressive start to the series, and I expect it's going to be back and forth again tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, my thoughts are continuous uh, from what they were earlier. This team kind of finds a way to win, and that's not always been the case. And it's, it seems like you're never really out of it watching these guys play this season. And so if it's close... I mean, we've got a legit chance. And more times than not, we're walking off. We are. I don't know how. I'd have to go back and count, but that's, I mean, five, six times, maybe more that we've walked off this year. It could be, and that's, you know, that's just uncanny. Yeah. I mean, I think the guys, when they get into the ninth inning, 
if we get runners on base, they're like, okay, this is in our hands. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we control our own destiny now yeah. at this point, you know. So, well, Coach, I appreciate you joining me. And again, uh, we're going to get out of here and uh, go home and relax and maybe drink some throat coat for my tea, some tea for my throat, and hopefully we'll be able to – well, I won't have another throat, mishap. Throat coat it doesn't <laughs> sound legal. I mean, yeah, tea, hot tea. Yeah. That's always good. Coach, thanks for joining. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Dustin. Thanks again to Steve Barrows for joining us here for our broadcast tonight. That is going to wrap it up for our coverage of game one of our three-game series as Northwestern wins it again by a final score of 3-2. to two. Tomorrow, again, Ranger Baseball returns to take on Arkansas Tech. And again, uh, 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock start times of the doubleheader tomorrow which means our pregame show will begin at 1240, and you'll catch it all right here on 105.7 and, of course, the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel as well. That'll do it for us here tonight. Final score, final time. Rangers win it by a final score of 3-2 to two in the bottom of the night. Appreciate all of our listeners, uh, all of our everybody out there watching on the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel, of course, all of our sponsors who help make each one of our broadcasts possible. For my partner, Steve Barrows, this is Dustin Goodell saying so long from Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium, and good night, Ranger Nation.